Yeah. Yeah. Like it. Harder than these niggas spit it how I spit it. Took a little break, now I'm back right. in it. Lost weight, but my blunts got bigger. So my 38 got a bigger pistol. They be chasing bitches, I be chasing digits. That's what I mean when I say we are different. So I keep my distance. Niggas, they be flipping bitches, they be tripping out of them lame. F O E N Y that's the game. Family, I nothing put that on my grave. Hoodie on like I'm mellow from the trade. Record labels turning niggas to slaves. Selling they so for a whoop and a chain. God damn, when would it change? Could pray me. Check, 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 check. Check, check. Yo, 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 what's going on? You know, already know what time it is, man. It is trap talk in the motherfucking building. You know we pop up when we pop up when we pop up. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I go by the name of DJ Face Off, a.k.a. Hype Man Face, and we in the building right now. This is trap talk, and I got my dog with me. Moffitt, the one and only, and oh my God, we got a special crazy episode, man. We got the craziest, litest podcast besides us in the city. <laughs> <laughs> the messy, messy. Come on, man. Y'all introduce yeah, 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 y'all, yeah, yeah, right, right, really <laughs> Coming out. Y'all doing numbers. He thinks it's doing numbers, thank doing you, numbers thank right now. Y'all already know what's going on. Because what's up, best friend? We, we back with our bullshit. Oh. Y'all already know how we're going to get there over here. They got catchphrases and of course I'm your boy Hezzy and we like to start off with a little with a little disclosure. Please note that all information from us is brought to us by our viewers. None of this is our personal opinion. And friend, what is an opinion? Our motherfucking opinion. No, best friend, opinions we are entitled to them. Okay. So you know we our opinions. Some of y'all be getting y'all feelings and stuff. We are not doing it this year. We are not hopping in feelings. Okay. We standing on business. We standing on next. We standing on next. Hey, we used to have a disclaimer too. We have to start disclaimer. I took that motherfucker down because your ass used to do that goofy ass shit. <laughs> this man was getting into it with everybody uh, at one point in time. Mm -hmm. I guess that's what come with this podcast shit, but we standing on nah, business. Nah, but we fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on, fellas, man? Introduce yourself to people that don't know y'all. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know y'all, but our audience might not know y'all. So right. introduce yourself. All right, I can speak for me. Uh, my name is Hezekiah Ishmael, also known as Dr. Winkin' Brow. So if you need lashes, eyebrows, teeth whitening, body sculpting, facial Botox, and veneers, I'm your guy. Um... I'm a hustler. I got plenty of things under my under my belt that I do. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like saying it because it be sound like I'm bragging. You know, I don't like sound like I'm bragging. I like being humble. Hey, you know, we brag on you know, this show. We brag. I Fuck like being be humble. humble. You can't be humble in Louisville. You can't be humble. <laughs> hey, they were snatching. They were snatching humbleness so motherfucking yeah, they quick. They so motherfucking fast. Hey, they snatched my listen. They snatched my humblest, uh last week on my goddamn my on my page. I think I, I was trying I, to be humble hey, and argue I, back and forth, and I just dropped a bag on the motherfucker. Damn, don't do drop a bag. Don't drop a bag. Best friend, tell them what yourself. What you got going on? You, who are you? I'm Bonnie and T, um, Snatch Fitness, Messy Messy Podcast, Entrepreneur in the City, Bartender um, in Your Nightlife, Run Strippers and Hoes. Y'all know me. Taking all the baby daddies and killers. Nightlife, Run Strippers and Hoes. Nightlife, Run Strippers and Hoes. Y'all know what I do every single night. That's what we shake a hand with drug dealers and killers. And scammers. And scammers. Look, I knew you were about to say that. So, man, what's going on with y'all? Because let's talk about the lately stuff that's going on with y'all. Because, like. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. On. We got, we got, we got to start. We got to start. We got. to I want to know how y'all got started in the game. Period. Just doing what. Oh yeah, do. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's start What's from the beginning. Oh, you know what I'm from saying. The, ooh, from okay. The beginning, beginning. Okay. Because me and friend just had like a premonition not too long ago. We were just like. When the hell did we really start? Right. You know? I was wondering because I saw Javon and then all of a sudden y'all was just hanging. I was mm -hmm. just like, I was like. But he's always been a um, childhood best friend. Mm -hmm. okay. We've been best friend over 12 mm -hmm. years now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Type shit. It's the only gay nigga, bisexual nigga I hang out with. <laughs> I don't, yeah. hang, I don't hang out with We don't gays. hang with gays because uh, what happened last week is the reason why. We don't hang with gays. It's the only bisexual nigga I've got along with. You can call me gay friend, I don't know. Gay today. Yeah. Out of my I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a switch on and off, bitch, on and off. <laughs> <laughs> but we've been friends for a very, very long time. Yeah. Um, it's really funny. like. Mm -hmm. But we started the podcast during COVID. During COVID at, at Oral, Oral Lounge. Lounge. Y'all remember Oral Lounge? I should have been doing that for a minute then. Man, That's when I Oral started Lounge. the podcast. That's when we started. That's when we, we started. Very first started. We had started, a live nigga. audience. We had a fishbowl, a bowl. And we and right Javon now, was fucking with me on the photographer type. Oh, yeah, you was heavy, heavy, heavy on the photography. photography. Every single time. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, hey yeah, we got some good ass for you. We gonna go back to you a few years ago. What you say? What you say? Y'all ain't got to just book with Bubba Guy. Y'all can book with me too. Remember that year? That's the type of way you never want. Award. We felt some type of way. 
because you could have because Barbara Carr was your um nemesis oh, eight, gener, generation X and older people yes, crowd. Yes. You're really in the nightlife crowd. I you should have won it's the a award a it's couple a times. It's different. You know the Africans come hard. They got African like and they like, got African votes. You know what's so crazy? Yeah, you know votes. what's so crazy? If DJ EB's are here, always like international. Baba car, <laughs> nigga. I, ain't, I, I can't help it. I want more than Africa. Hey, you feel you me? There you go. Like that ain't fair. There you go. <laughs> That's not fair. But I want more than Africa. But I, I didn't choose that. Ain't what you mean, <laughs> It be international. But getting back to um, we started our podcast back. I don't during even COVID. know I, during COVID, which was probably 2018, 2019, no, 2021, 2020. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, we it's never really we, did, we didn't take it really serious like at at first because we was kind of like just doing it, just to be doing it. You know what I'm saying? We was bored during COVID. Was bored. So everybody was trying to find some type of entity, uh-huh. trying to make a last or whatever. Because mm-hmm. I me, mean, I was just doing aura. Aura was getting like. We was busy, don't get me wrong. You know how Aura was during Man, it was like y'all damn near started the after I was out there. No, we did start that. I know, I know. I know. Al Newberg. Newberg. But we started out like Where the money at? Who was one of my first guests that we had on our show? Keisha Love? Keisha Love. Well, she was our first. She was like, talking Keisha about her. We were just, hey, <laughs> I, I swear we, we might do some business Keisha with Keisha Love. I think, you know what? cool, Keisha? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I, 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 have, <laughs> I, have, I have, I have, I have love for Keisha, but my thing no, is, you don't. her is, I'm not lying. I'm not lying, friend. One minute you like her, but then I said she shaded the shit out of me. When y'all come on here, right? (laughs) What happened? I told them they want they, they don't know what they're gonna hear when they come on here. Yeah, they don't. They right. do not know what they're gonna hear. <laughs> I'll tell you. We respect her, but she under she need to understand how to do business. Yes. That's the yes. Only. She's still giving me old church lady business yes. or in, at a church. Yes. She's still giving me writing it on the little piece yeah, of paper. Like, Bitch, we had iPads and uh, she still giving out and, 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 and motherfucking audibles, <laughs> and Amazon yeah. Primes and shit. Yeah, she still got giving that communion. <laughs> yes, but my thing of it is, I respect like I said, it was what we you said. Her. It's just to me, it's the way the business is. Rand mm-hmm. or what event that you're running yeah. is not full. I don't know. I don't think she probably has the full connections that we probably expect for her to have. You get what I'm saying? Like, some yeah, people have good yeah, connections yeah. and good yeah. resources to pull from, and she probably don't have those resources, so she got to work with what she got. Right. If you got, if you only can feed your kids with motherfucking greater value, motherfucking mashed potatoes and greens, yeah. feed them kids with the greater value. We can't that's go to Kroger's and get Kroger bringing. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? No, for real. Yeah. The auto, that's what you got. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so, yeah. So, but. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to defend Keisha a little bit. How hard it is to deal with black people in Louisville Ooh. doing business parties events. We know how the uh did, did, did I, did I fast forward did I fast forward too fast? Events. Cause we was trying to yeah, introduce we, yourself. Yeah, yeah, we was We, we did. We did we, introduce ourselves. Man, we like to get to it. Man, we don't <laughs> fuck butter in it. it. We don't want to butter the business. We know Let's get to it. Fuck it. We into it. Okay. So how hard is it? Cheers. Everybody cheers. Let's talk about it. Everybody cheers. All right, cheers. So how hard is it? Doing business. Well, let me ask you this first. Mm-hmm. How do you I feel about the? Y'all, so I'm just holding this bottle up. Yeah. <laughs> so how do y'all feel about the black party scene that's going on now? It's washed out. It's boring. It's dead. dead. It's real bad. It's giving it's like, uh, five dollar party. They're still playing the B ninety six playlist. They do every, every they night at are. ten o'clock. Like, like we're tired of the same. <laughs> I can literally sit in the club and like be like, "Hey, right, friend, five, man. six, <laughs> seven, same eight. Boom, 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 boom. Getting like, tired of hearing we, it. We, we got to be with like, each other. This gets to the point they getting too lazy at the point mm-hmm. where I know I got to do that because I'm the only thing popping in the city right yep. now. Yep. So now I can just play this. I don't got to do my homework. You know what? That shit, but that shit, that shit is programmed in there. So. It's like the program director of the company, they decide what go, goes on that radio. But I'm just time, like, you know but when saying? you have outlets outside the radio, like, yeah. and you still sound like the radio. Like, we already know what comes with commercial-ass radio. Right, yes, right. We yeah. know that. But when you get, when you lazy at your job because you feel like you that man, you're yeah. not really that man. You still boring. Like, your parties are still boring. Because I ain't going to lie. My uh, shot the street bullies, uh, Brad, when he brought his Chicago DJ in, it was just like... Totally different. Totally, totally different. different. And Louisville, don't know how to re- Louisville do not know how to react to Dude, something don't. new. They need to be flunky. Somebody got to do it, and then everybody else jump on the bandwagon. Facts. Facts. You get what I'm saying? Facts. That's how that's what Louisville is. You got to go outside the city to get you your have fame to and go shit. So, defend, so, so defend the DJs real quick, uh, Face. What you got to say? Because you are a DJ, and that's what you do. So how do you feel about what they say? And haven't as been far as, seen as, it forever. As, as far as what? Playing the same music or like... I mean, uh, it's they got a point. It happens because Louisville doesn't grow mm-hmm. musically. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, they want to hear... Uh, Jeezy, wipe, wipe me down. fucking Jeezy. You know what I'm saying? Wipe me it's down and shit like that. They want to hear shit like that, and it's like when it's it's hard to get them off at. And you know when they thizzing and they feeling good, 
<laughs> Say this. For real. You know I mean? That's how they that's how they get on their shit. They be like, oh shit, I'm this and I wanna hear the shit I wanna hear if I was at home listening in, in the crib. So I think that's what it is for the most part. It's fucking just lazy. Like to me, yeah. it's like lazy because you, if we know Louis, uh, Louisville is like a funk city, they gonna somebody follow. has to put the pants. Somebody on. Somebody has to put the pants mm-hmm. on and push the narrative. Yep. Louis, Louisville's always our narrative always changed in the night scene in Louisville. It, Every it, single I, time, I, nigga. What the I fuck die. you say? I mean, you can like, train nigga. people. You can mold people like you can train a dog. Right. Like right. that ass. You can just right. play new music every time you come out. About time. It's their third time. They know the song. Mm-hmm. Everybody's going crazy to it. I watched it happen to Coles. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, but see, my thing of it is, it's different with Coles because Coles have like a gentrification of people that go there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Coles, I want to hear me some Jeezy. Yeah, yeah I want right. to feel hard. You're right, motherfucker. <laughs> I want to feel. I want to sag a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> right. I want to feel like that. <laughs> now, when I go over to motherfucking like Afro, now to me, Afro is a really club that we can really bring a celebrity in Afro. They feel like they're still like in a. In a, like, in a different in a, I mean, everybody in a likes different Afri- setting. At the end of the day, Africans is the dopest club in Louisville. They look just clean cut. They got the yeah, the lights. It's a, commercial, it's a clean commercial cut. club. That's a commercial. Yeah, yeah, facts. It's a commercial, facts, it's a commercial facts, club. Facts, yeah. facts. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. that's like it looks so good, but it's so fucking little. Little. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, <what's up? laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. <laughs> it's gonna be a problem every two. Don't get mad. Like they don't understand how little, but it is so beautiful. Inside. It is, especially when everybody's moving. And yeah, dancing. and the it's lights actually vibe. Yeah, it's actually a vibe in there, but it's just like I don't know. But working with black people in our city to me is a headache because it's like to me, it's like to me, people want to that their flowers, like they forcing you to give him their flowers type shit. That's what I don't agree with. It's like we already know what you come with. We already know what you do. You can literally help the next person, or you can be in a have a deal with mm. someone, and they still gaslighting you, but also pu- pushing you on the fucking moving bus at the same exact time. And then you and then you don't hear the shit after the fact the event when you mm. say you got niggas in your face how they support you and shit. But you could have told me a week before this main person was going against me the whole time and I'm paying this nigga the whole fucking mm-hmm. time like this is too much of a follow ordeal and people are afraid to people are afraid to lose things that they're comfortable to yeah that's what yeah. it is that's how you feel mm-hmm. about that face cause I'm a, I'm a, I'm a channel on it go ahead face as far as like what, what aspect what you were saying but that's how I feel like I've been... can you reiter- reiterate the question yeah, for the viewers yeah so yeah. the question I think the, the question really, was the question was, was how is it dealing with black folks in an entertainment nightlife in mm-hmm. Louisville okay it's tough. yeah go ahead okay you 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 right uh I, I dealt with a few but I dealt with more promoters than I dealt with club owners mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie to you um, the only club owner I really dealt with was like Mr. Cole, mm-hmm. yeah. and Mr. Cole yeah, he was, was about he was on just he gave us a bartender job. Mm-hmm. He's right, two, the he first two gay dudes, gay not two gay he niggas. Said, y'all come down here. Yeah, yeah. we was we bartending yeah. old bitches in there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he said you two gay niggas got something going on, and Luba gonna be mad when y'all take off. That's uh, what he said. Yes, yeah. 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 That's what happened when I when I had he my said, TV. Fuck my son. He said fuck. What the fuck they got going on? Just talk to me. When I had my TV show in 2017 bro Coles was the main people supporting me and my brand at that time oh, yeah. I'm telling you he used to make money off of Coles mm-hmm. at Derby he said come, yeah. clean, come clean my front of my clip I'll give you four or five hundred dollars you want right. them out there for two hours <laughs> <laughs> oh, what were you saying <laughs> face, right, real talk. no no real talk like Mr. Cole was the only one that I really dealt with club owner wise mm-hmm. uh, and uh, he was like he was cool like he didn't but he was gonna pay what he felt yep he yeah. wasn't, it wasn't gonna be no yep. feeling like negotiation. You know what I'm saying? You feel like it too, for me. Mm-hmm. When he, when he, when he, when I did, after the years went by and I was there for a while, I got, you know, I, you know, I got my price I wanted, but he stood on that motherfucking price. You know what I'm saying? As far as all that shit went. And, and that's how it was. That's why uh, at one point in time, he got rid of all the promoters and shit like that. You know what I mean? And uh, that's when Lil Cole and Lil Jerry came in and, mm-hmm. and they took Sold It Out Saturday. Sold Out Saturday and shit. Before that, it was uh, Selfie Saturdays. Yep. Selfie Saturdays. You know what I'm saying? So. I was at JT's, wasn't I? I was at JT's. Uh, no, nah, JT's out. was. When I got back to Cole, JT had got closed down. I was Mr. Cole called Billy me and told me to come to Cole. Yeah, I was at Billy's. He house. told me to come home. He said, come on home, nigga. I don't know shit about nothing, but when I was old enough to go to Cole's, nigga, all I know is I was going there to have a ball. Right. People was running from Coles. Okay, 
let's get this understood with codes, y'all. Because y'all need to understand this. So people were scared of codes because they felt like they was afraid of their life. There was no shootings inside of Coe's. No. They're in the alley. Hey, We're, hold on, we, hold on, hold on. Listen, y'all. Let me drop some balls on that, because that's real talk. No, for real, because, listen, <laughs> you got to realize where country is fucked to begin with, okay? We country. We are partying in the backyard under a tent. Let's be real. <laughs> the, the, there's a whole building right there that we go in there and get the liquor from. We don't nigga, even go in the building. This nigga's trying their best to get that money. I mean, to tell you, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, the, the, if everybody in under the tent go inside the club, the club would be capacity. Okay? We are partying outside the tent. Yeah. Now, if I was to shoot a firecracker by my car in the parking lot, it's, it's only a wooden gate right there. Everybody's getting scared, hooping and hollering, running and track. shit, man. <laughs> No, I, love codes, man. I love codes, man. I love codes. I love. I, I feel safe when I'm around my black folks. When I see guns and shit, I feel safe because a motherfucker black people. We're not shooting. We're not. Nobody's not pulling out no gun and just aiming at no anybody. No. I have a target. Yeah. Now, if it's six of y'all, I'm sorry. I'm pointing at y'all area. I'm not trying to hit none of y'all. <laughs> it's, a, it's a target. Who go it's to, a target. Who wanna go through that, friend? Like at the end of the day, like a motherfucker like me, you like me. I don't like codes. Right, right, but right. From the but I will go to coast. I will yeah. give it a try at least. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm one of the type of person. If I go outside, I want to have a good time physically and mentally. Right. Mm -hmm. too. I don't got time to be thinking about. You know what's so crazy? The only time I've been in, been in club shootings. I ain't never been in one. No, yeah, you have. Yeah, I was. Yeah. In that, I was in that one with yes, you. What yes, <laughs> club shooting? This nigga's reminiscing. No, club that's the club. we was in that one. I was in. Yeah, that. You know what's so well, crazy? Well, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what's so crazy? That, that. Get shot at? No, nah. they was shooting, it. nigga. You, you was in there. You had to be in there. You had to be in there. I was a part of a shooting. It's too much of that cause. You don't even remember. No, what cause? It wasn't cause. It was the other ones on on Pablo. Uh, why are you scared to drop the name? Because it's your mom's party. It was my party. What party? Aura. I won her at the time. Man, Aura's done and washed out. Like, yeah, quit. that was, the, that was oh, the week you quit. It was the week. That was that day. No, it was the day I quit. No, it was the day. You know what they're going to say. It was the day. It was the day. It was the day, it was the day. It was it was the the day he quit. I yep. left for my birthday. For my ex, oh my for god, friend! If, you know, bro, I got you know if, everything, and I just quit. You like, know if Nitty didn't pull me down, I would have got hit. <laughs> for real? Oh, That's god, that, girl, that girl got shot in the right head. next to me. Mm. Damn. Mm. <laughs> but so, people gonna have to understand with me in my city is uh, when Aura started. I'm a West End, born and raised. But my no security. In a Newburgh too. Yeah, it was different. So I got to get, understand like both hoods, case may be. But I was cool. just so like. Up front with it because yeah. I knew what I was doing for right. more days, so we can have an open mm -hmm. club. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, so we would never give yeah, so we would never get in trouble during COVID. Yeah. I know what I was dealing with with these white folks. Yeah, mm -hmm. I knew what I had to do at night time. Friend was so, plugged in with ABC huh. and so the police. I knew what I had to do before at all that shit. So you niggas can have a platform mm -hmm. during COVID. Mm -hmm. So I knew what I was sacrificing. So I was able and bold enough to go to these niggas who had be. Right. Who had issues? Yeah. And them, no, bitch. If you did something, bitch, I'm telling on you. Right. And I'm, I'm gonna tell <laughs> uh, all six of the niggas that uh, you was coming because you fucking up for everybody. You sound like a little and snitch. You, no, bitch, because you fucking up your money too. Uh -huh. Because then they, I'm letting you still come and it's established to make your bread, have a piece of art from what the fuck you got going on. Mm -hmm. Take that shit up the street. Yeah. And mm -hmm. every nigga always knew around over time because I was the only club real talk. I feel like I feel like to or me around my school. age and time. I was the only club around or that's gonna have the West End New they, Bird victory. Yes, Everybody yes. Everybody in a oh, motherfucking closet friend. with oh, no mama. issues. <laughs> oh my mom. With no motherfucking issues. And when they fall, going good, I right. pull both of these niggas in the motherfucking kitchen. Like y'all got me fucked up. Right. Yeah, it was going you good. ain't about to pay me mm -hmm. for my little fuck up. And I know you niggas can pay me. Mm -hmm. So I'm not gonna go to you. They like, take that shit up the street. Yeah. But that Newburgh, shit was around the corner too. Newburgh, that shit was I ain't gonna fuck with Newburgh. I had parking lot security. I fuck with Newburgh. Shit for real. Alley they security. got some money out that motherfucker. I had motherfucking rooftop Man. security. <laughs> I, mean, we, I mean, no, the thing, but thing though, we he had all the security, but guess what? The security, they had to pack no guns. Nope. They had to pack no guns because it was the energy yeah. in that time frame or what it was. Mm -hmm. It was people genuinely wanted to get in COVID. People genuinely wanted to get the fuck out the house from yeah. their kids and shit. I know I was. And just go have a nice that's, time. I got a lot of photos from that motherfucker. Like, yeah. yeah, that's when I was putting my homie on. Yeah, yeah it was those were good times. Yeah, Aubrey had Aubrey had some going with. Uh, Aubrey had amazing. He had some going with uh, with Orlando. Well, yeah. he's, he's irritated, just like me too. Irritated. Mm -hmm. Like he just fed up with the black scene in Louisville. It's it hard. Just, people don't it's realize. It's not hard. It's just the fact when people be bold enough and say, he that DJ, that promoter really ain't doing it no more for y'all. Mm -hmm. When you really can say that and motherfucker Damn. can sit uh -oh. back because 
Because <laughs> let's be real, Mafia, you been around. We all share the same crowd, gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't been. I don't. I don't we got forty two on this motherfucker. I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't I don't hey. been over. That's on yeah, his page. I uh, I don't been around. You know, see, see, with with Mafia, you got your headphones on. Yo, y'all need to come over here to the Trap Talk but, podcast uh, page, man. Yeah. Yeah. Come on over here. But with my fit is, I learned, I learned not to be in a clique. I learned not to be in the Me group. Too. Me too. So, when, when I, what was that? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> but when I did. I know. It's tight. It would be <laughs> very tight. <laughs> I don't hit the box. <laughs> but now, I learned that my brand was my brand. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't going to join no crew, no clique. I wasn't going to act like, oh, this is my bestie. I can't fuck with you because mm -hmm. you got a problem. That's the number one problem. Like, when people have a problem with that, that person, they want you to have that problem too. Yeah. Like my thing is, like you could talk. Like I don't like I don't let people talk bad about people around me. That's, That's me too. Mm -hmm. I, or I walk away. I walk away. Walk That's away. something I just mm -hmm. you just not gonna do it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I don't know nothing. No business. No nothing. Unless mm -hmm. that person do me wrong. Right. I'm gonna mm -hmm. keep doing business with that person. Right. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But it's just like. It's a lot of fuck shit going on out here. A lot right? of fuck shit. And people, when you talk about doing business, my thing with people in Louisville is that people feel like they can give you little business and I need to pay you a lot. Yeah. Just because of who you are. Mm. People be forgetting. Oh, I still want run you to a be business. like, oh, big boss, our big Yeah, I still I run a business. Shit. I yeah. still run a business at the end of the day. And we knew the agreement that we had. Mm. And if I feel like you work with me, like I'm going to keep saying, like I've been starting, is if you're going to lacquer your job, I'm going to dock your pay. Yeah. That's like you that's go exactly to your nine just, to five. That's what he just said. Like, I'm, it's your nine to five. Like, I'm treating this as your <laughs> nine to five because I'm yeah. the one paying you. You ain't paying me. Right. I'm the one who's really losing. So if you're going to be run. security, bitch, you need to be security. And Javar, DJ, if you go DJ, you need to spin the shit out of them tables. Yeah. Don't have everybody like. But if you know the song? agreement as a DJ and security for everybody, my, mm. my thing was always with DJ security, everybody was promote, 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 promote. Mm. That was my biggest thing with everything. If you're gonna promote for my shit one time a week, I'm not paying you your full mm. thing. Yeah. And if you're gonna promote my shit hours before, I'm still not doing it. Mm. Because the agreement was you promote my shit five times a week. Mm. That's one time a day. That's and it. you on your phone Just hit the constantly. Two seconds. Two seconds. <laughs> and you can reshare the same shit every single time. See, but these promoters, they want the groupie friends. They want the niggas uh, to be like, it's not oh, worth big it. Like, I it's can't do that. It. It's not worth That's it because I've been around I, I it. I always you know fall out with, the, or they don't mm. treat me hey, like I They don't ever to. last. I can't do that. Mm. Like, I. I my, like I feel like I'm the dopest photographer in the club scene, period. And I'm gonna have, yes. to, hang, I'm gonna have to hang you because we have to agree to you too and hang you at the same time because when you're in your podcast, Trap Talk episode, you was like, you had to dumbify your photos. Mm -hmm. I did. Just to prove that you were just this nightclub <laughs> fucking photographer. But I'm yeah. really that a was good like, photographer. I was like, I was telling best friend, this nigga really takes some good <laughs> ass photos. Like, he <laughs> take personal photos. And then I'm over here like, difference. I'm like Fred, he's like a nightlife yeah. club. But he just not, but he just not getting to know you right. type right. shit. But you, right. this was, it was this one time years ago. They was like, I, it was like, I need a wretched photographer. And somebody tagged me, bro. Mm. I was so fucking pissed because like, I'm, I'm they should have did a trade day. Because though. I'm a really dope mm -hmm. ass photographer. I know how to hit the lights. I know how to, mm -hmm. I know how to do mm -hmm. it. You feel mm -hmm. me? Ain't nobody, I don't care. Y'all can look at all y'all photographers pictures right now. Ain't nobody doing it like I was doing it. And that's mm. six, five, four, three, two, one years ago. Well, I, I mean, I had my personal because what had happened. I'm not gonna let you just toot too much because I was, I, I was, you was, I was, I was in a high fashion. A I did a high fashion photography. You was with, yeah, you I did, I did high fashion photography. Like so. See, that's what yeah. we were talking he's about. Intimate, intimate, like he's more yeah. intimate. Yeah. Like he'll go to your it. house. He'll go to your house. Mm. Take you don't feel it. You out in the studio outside. Nigga, you know, nigga. Every time I saw you. <laughs> hey, any photographer know? Listen, that nigga uh, CT uh, CGZ, CG. you know CGZ, mm -hmm. he do he do candidate photos in the club, you know. Yeah. That nigga be like, Hezzy, I like you, nigga. You already know, pose, like nigga. You. And I want my picture. <laughs> I ain't gonna. And then I hate when when photography. One thing that boy, pissed me off about photography was, where's my pictures? <sighs> Bitch, you ain't give me fifty cents. I, I ain't never seen. You, you ain't give me took no. in the club. What's up? I ain't never seen. Not from you. You always send me my pictures. I ain't gonna lie. But for you the most part, there's a lot of photographers mm -hmm. out here, and that ain't no problem. But I ain't seen none of them pictures I took. Mm -hmm. 
We need money. Because nah, they won't, they won't pay really because sometimes so they won't pay. Yes, but like, also, legit. But if, if I have more followers than you, you taking pictures of me, and I'm doing more than you, I understand. I, we, have to, we have to take sacrifice sometimes in this little business. Yeah, People yes. be yeah. walking like microwave, and I want my money right here and there. You're not about to treat me like the trick. Mm -hmm. really, you really taking photos of me to, to help you yeah. for a deal. That's what bothers me with photographers. See, I said on like, my last podcast, like, the way that I got my name out there is I'm going to hit all the hot people. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. DJ, mm -hmm. Like I said, I said that last week, yep. it's like that's why I'm hitting. Like, yeah, if it's concert or if I got a celebrity, I'm definitely picking you. I like, got, I got some good ass movies of you and like some key shit. <laughs> but I always hired you. I always mm -hmm. called you. Like, and the day, and it also is like right. a relationship. True relationship. And it's what bothers me with Louisville people talking about global Louisville people in business is to me is people don't know how to talk. And that bothers me. If you they can talk business, when, when it's when it's a disagreement. No, they can't. These some of these niggas can't talk. Mm -hmm. These niggas be like, um, yeah, we can do a that a b c d, but in the, after the a b c it goes to uh, my combo, yeah, cuz and blah blah blah, not about yeah. cuz and you know you yeah. feel me, you know what I'm saying? I mm -hmm. don't understand where you're coming from because we having a legitimate contract conversation with a contract right. signing too. Mm -hmm. so I need to understand your mentors with your penmanship right. type shit. And that was bothering me with Louisville people because they really don't know how mm -hmm. to really have a business conversation. And the main focus is what we're splitting at the end of the night. Like we gotta get to that point. Right. We really yes. gotta get to that point. Yes, like, yes that's so true. Everybody so true. has a good party, a bad party. Everybody has a good and an up down. Like everybody, you're not always gonna hit every single time. So we need to always treat this first time like it's something the first no, that's, time. No, that's, that's really real because I went. You go, go ahead. ahead. Now I was I went into an invest, a business investment with somebody like doing a fashion show, mm -hmm. and um, at the end of the fashion show. We kind of, we broke even, but we had like a little bit of odds. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the odds is really for us to re take that to go back and recoup yeah. and let's do the next show. Then that's all benefits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they didn't see that, but everybody's like, where's my cut? But where's my cut? I ran the not. door. I did this. I did that. Some people see, I, some people don't understand. People like, I get it a million times. Let's start throwing parties. Nigga, do you know how hard it is to throw fucking parties? I and how know. much time do I do? Yes. All time. you gotta do is get a DJ in the building. We can do No. No. <laughs> no. I done no. seen it a lot, bro. Like, no. Because when people say that, it's really making it seem like you're clout chasing off of the DJ's name. Yeah. All I need is a DJ in the building. See, that's no. So, no. I mean, I got a question about that shit. Like, uh -huh. as far as like promoters and DJs, who is pulling the most crowd right now? DJ. Because it DJ, ain't DJ wise? Yeah. Like, I'm not even DJ wise, just. just in general, is the DJ carrying I'm the crowd now lane. with him? That's why I okay, for me to explain, I'm in my own. Okay, lane. so if we talk, if we talk today, right now, okay, virtue cannot serve no more liquor. So that's a Let's game talk changer. About it. That's a fucking game changer. A that big is, game changer. So I, but you can't bring no bottles or containers in either. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, you can't they, do that. Yeah. And police are probably gonna be stupid around that motherfucker. So mm -hmm. eight, this is the summer of the H two O. <laughs> I can't agree with that. I, I can't, can't agree, agree with that. With, you can't, the can't. only reason I can't agree with that is because us millenniums are sitting in this room. I don't know how hype man is, but I know us for millenniums. Damn. We're really uh no. <laughs> hey, I don't know. Kaboom man now, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm 38. I don't know if I'm a millennial or not. A millennium or not. Can we get a kaboom? I ain't no baby boomer. <laughs> no, you're a millennium then. You're yeah, an early yeah, millennium. Yeah. He's an early millennium, so you can understand like our generation of money yeah. is to the power of money. Right. Real talk. Only mm -hmm. people is really bringing only people only way H2O to me would survive if they really let in 18 older kids. No, no, because they I did. disagree I'm with saying, that. I totally I have disagree to read because for you just said you was in there with somebody at, who was a young of age in a new club. Now, allegedly, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, you know, I'm really gonna give a fuck. You make your money, make your money by necessary, yeah. but we understand how these white politics are. Yeah. But, but what else is open? Africans are in in legends. That's we're it. tired of it. we're I'm tired of going to Afro four times out of the week. It's not it. Mm -hmm. So I I support the um, 502 splash. What is it? I mean, you got GVO. That's a Joe's. They don't want that over there. No, uh, Joe's got a good more kitchen. Of your 35 and older. I know, but yes, that's a that's there. a club that's a club seat though. But people I start. But, I, but I will do Joe's. So I'm saying my type of energy. I will do Joe's. You will go to club seat though. Yeah. Nah, I, I, would, no, no, I, ain't gonna I ain't never been. It's on Cedar crazy. Street, nigga. You ain't never in the club, Cedar? Yeah, the Newburgh, true, Newburgh, oh, my God. True Newburgh. True he said, Newburgh, he nigga. He's from Newburgh. He don't go past. Uh, 
This is that so, <laughs> nigga, saying, you ain't never had the wind. I thought this nigga was a true Uber, uh, Newberg nigga at Aura. Like, mm-hmm. nigga, I'm going up the street around the corner. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm running the corner. Like, he, he's, uh, he always been there. He always been Newberg there. Newberg nigga. But, nigga, the drinks are at, uh, is it the drinks over at, um, but they said the drinks is cheap as hell. I never go over there because my mama, my mama go up. My, but club seat, my mama go up there. I be going. I, my mama be in there. She be having a ball. They get you drunk. I don't want to go up there. Why? You don't want to run into your aunties in them. Can we got club seat? Club seat is next door to Five Hundred Two Split uh, Legends, right there by Legends down the street. Bro, that's double deuce. That's no, double I mean not. It's not next door. I'm saying you got go. You know how you go to the um, liquor store right there. Stooges. I ain't never been. Up the street, it's like a block. Okay, so you facing. I'm face gun listen, you facing day. Dino's. Dino's is right here, and Eric and the other little gas stations right here across the street. You bust yeah. that right well, where, where the McAtee I, I, man got shot at. Yeah, yeah. I'm I got Newberg. Oh, okay, my now. uncle got killed in that parking lot. I, I ain't. God damn. Who was that McAtee? Got... No, uh, his name was Rico. Mm-hmm. I mean, no, his name was Ricky. Exactly. R.I.P. Ricky. Yeah, R.I.P. Yeah, Ricky. Oh, but our club scene now, it's just like it's boring. But like, yeah, it's, boring. it's not. It's it's you know it's always been my talk with everybody. I think I had a conversation with you too, Muffet. Like it's just they don't give commercial here. That's what always bothered me with clubs in general. Period. They just so used to what they comfortable. The norm. With. The norm. Yeah. The norm. The norm. And that's always bothered me with Louisville. Period. When I can, I see bigger in Louisville. But you know, mm. but you know who used to change that shit up? Who? Prestige. Prestige. <sighs> yes. Oh my! I, I just told Javon I wanted to start parties like that. Yeah, I wanted to do like dress up once a month. N- women put your best diamonds. Oh, some niggas with the suits. Yo, go with the suits. Yes. They used to train. You got your suits on with your lambins. Ask me. I would, Man, me personally, I don't know how to dress up. Day. I don't yeah. know how to dress up. Me. I would wear a suit all day. Yeah. I yeah. I ain't down. never wear a suit. You get a three piece and you bust that bitch down. At 12, you get a two piece. That nigga Moffy wear corduroy. I ain't never all day. And New Balance. Hey, I sure did. I was flying. I had the award, so I got kicked out that motherfucker. I, I, I right. Dress Speaking up, bro. Of, we, we, can we speak on those good, awards? Like you feel good. Like what the awards? I don't know. I got kicked out the awards. The KY nigga awards. <laughs> KY nigga awards. KY can, nigga. What's up? Uh, the Legions. What happened? <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Before y'all start. We, we hold start. on. Hold on. What happened? He's a Legions man. We are Legions. He's <laughs> are in the fucking hype man. It's okay. Award. It's okay. It's okay. What it's I ain't over him. Because you yeah. know what? You tied into it. Yeah. You tied in. You tied in. I'm going to tell you what they do with the awards. You tied and they tied. Hey, Face. Nah, Face told me on a drunk night. He said, it's what we do, bro. We all meet in the room. Nah, you a motherfucking lie. I'm going to say this. I ain't never been in none of the board. I ain't went to no Diddy meeting, but I've been random boring ass niggas just planning that shit. Like, yeah, no. like, the meeting. Mm. They need some. They need some new flavor. I, 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 it, need, I, it needs a new and approved, like non apologetic, like bold people yes. who's willing to take that risk and lose yes. it all, but that, still believe in the go. They were supposed to have a stand up. They be moving session. so much. Like, where you? You say you love your brother. They got a lot damn damn low. Yeah. You say you support this motherfucker all. All them being low, but really, where's your faith and grace? Because the shit comes with loving somebody yeah. in the same sentence with that. But you just be so afraid your name or losing money. I don't want to look broke, <laughs> nigga. Your chains ain't still ain't getting y'all nowhere. Mm-mm. And Louisville, I have to say, everybody who's making money in a nightclub scene, y'all still making general manager McDonald money yearly. My- oh, <laughs> and I have to agree with that because. I was making damn. the same money. Oh you no, did. I know a few DJs. God damn, that shit though. Fresh. You know what I'm saying like I, I'm not even talking about DJs because I'm not a DJ. I'm only right. a, prom- a promoter, but also I'm a promoter in a strip club scene, so I'm only in my lane type right. shit. Mm-hmm. Right. But also when I work with these niggas who do parties every single day on the basis, you niggas ain't making no money. You know what I'm saying yeah. we can really put our platforms Take together. <laughs> we, can, <laughs> we can really make our platforms t- together mm-hmm. and make the bigger bag mm-hmm. type That's shit. So true. If we all got connections and um, connects and all this and all that, and resources. why don't we really have this one club? Tem- we can go out town. We can go out of town every day. Mm-hmm. Right. But I bet you that this one big club has been there forever because everybody's there at one time at one moment. Mm-hmm. Supporting yeah. it. Real talk. Yeah. And I feel like to me, virtue was that breakthrough. Or whatever, mm-hmm. but it just came into a sense where to, it, it kind of like fumbled the ball. You saying virtue was Louisville's like Louisville? Breakthrough? Louisville could have been that breakthrough where to that was to me when virtue started. We all started. Yeah, 
We I all started. Saying, that's see. where I met you. Yeah. That's when Bella was popping. That's when I was popping on yeah, yeah. Fitness. Yeah. I was bartending. It was a lot going on yeah, when Virtue started, bro. Yeah, Tiff was Bird doing, was doing her pike, hella sit downs at Virtue. Mm-hmm. It was a yeah. lot going on. Everybody was entrepreneurs the right way around that time. Everybody mm-hmm. was doing their shit Damn. like well, putting the city yeah. on when Virtue well, opened. Like so now everybody just pee 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 down. No, because when I'm thinking about it, because it was like somebody was trying to do some shit like every week, like even from like mm. business or they it was they yeah, was it giving was everybody an opportunity like they was featuring Not, me like yeah. crazy like it was crazy I did your birthday party your last yes, birthday bro. Yeah. yes yes I missed the old version me too I missed them old days Whatever year that was, and we all started running. We hated that twelve o'clock shutdown, but now down days you appreciate it because you, know you get home at the right time. You know, in virtue, this is another you know thing. What? Like the party seemed so crazy, but Louisville it changed so crazy. Mm-hmm. When virtue was closed at twelve, everybody would go to the other club. Then when virtue went to two o'clock, it changed the fucking game. Yes, that's why I was explaining <laughs> on our podcast. I was explaining to because like, Louisville everybody stupid. So everybody know things. I go, I'm the I'm the fucking the turn up on uh, concierge. So everybody call me like, but. You doing? You what are. we doing tonight? What you, you doing? What you doing? She, I'm trying to brush my teeth. I'm getting up in the morning. What the hell you mean? What we doing tonight? But you know, so I was just with my friends. Like everybody want to leave one club and rush to the next club. I said this club, that club's not gonna get fat until this it's club closed, and it's always virtue. But I'll let you know, everybody now virtue went to four crowd. o'clock. Everybody share the same crowd. Bro. Virtue that, went to four a.m. Now, now they can't say there's so many people that don't go out no more though. Right, mm-hmm. too stamp, much shit. You know what I'm saying? I do agree. Yeah. After I got into my little situation, I was like, bro, what the fuck ain't <laughs> what happened to you? Your problem is strippers and nah, uh, nigga uh, politics. Nah, nigga snuck me. Oh, nigga snuck me in the club. So uh, you got snuck too. You got snuck too. I don't remember when I got snuck. No, I don't remember when you got snuck. In no. virtue. Yeah. Damn, it's your favorite club. You're popping your <laughs> shit. Right. I can ride, right. 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 <laughs> nigga, I can't go nowhere now. I got watch. Nah, I got a uh, tone. This is the last mm-hmm. thing Tone said to me, bro. Just, bro, don't do nothing, bro. I was like, all right, Tone. So I got to respect Tone. So I just don't even go out no more. No, let me tell you about the time when this nigga going to have a, a nigga. I'm been supposed to beat up for months and go. <laughs> comes into the bar where he was just starting out over at Long Shots. I tell I'm gonna Ooh. dude comes in, uh, shine, shine. I comes in there. You throwing parties? Listen, all, all long shot. He was boxing over at long shot. So shine, the dude, whoever, his, he comes in, I whatnot, and uh, I'm like, bitch, it's ready to go the fuck down. Oh, it's ready to go down. You have, so then Javon look at me and says, so Javon, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, so okay. Javon goes, friend, what you look like being the first person fighting at the club that I just started to do? You're my best friend. You can always be here. I'm like, you know what, friend? I'm going to respect you. I was in the same alley where you was at. So he, was, he didn't sat around and he, got around. I'm really so listen, like, no, it ain't even the killer yet. The nigga didn't left. Yeah. Javon comes back from the back and goes, Oh, so you just gonna let him leave? <laughs> this is the whole club. It was like, Ooh, I said, You bitch ass nigga. I would have whooped this motherfucker ass when I first saw him. You know, that's me yeah, fucking stupid, with you. you know, <laughs> but we got snuck at Wild Horse. I yeah, we definitely that. got snuck up. Bro, this is the crazy thing. Like, I was watching this with my girl. We just out here to get content because we here for other fight. And I look at the night. These niggas don't They fall. flipped the narrative on us. So what happened that night? What's that going on? I don't. So horse. explain the video. Yeah. I saw you try to do your love. He had the phone. I'm at the bar doing a whole business deal. No, you handed. No, you watched the video. I handed you my phone. You said, hold He's on, let me have my phone because I'm live. Phone. He handed He handed. You heard it. I was like, you want to be in my camera because I'm about to talk to you on camera. Like, I'm good for trying to make some. We're going to have a business deal regardless. They were like, nah. Give it, so it's I get like the phone animal. away. So I'm having a whole business. People, well, people know about me. When I go outside of my free time, I'm really going out to mm-hmm. make a business deal or mm-hmm. really make something. Mm-hmm. Only time I really, if you really paying attention, only time I went outside if Wild Horse or something or was going on, yeah. I'm going out pre pre advance promoting. So it's your first time ever going back out since popping and out. Seven yes. months. Yes. Since, it's been a long yes. time. I've been so focused on trying to build money back yeah, up because yes, money ain't the same. At. Because Louis, Louis was hitting for everybody right mm-hmm. there. Like yeah. it's hitting mm-hmm. for me hard. Like no, no so shade. money ain't seen no shade. Like, like the money wait for so season. I went back to the plantation type shit, hey, getting me a little nine to five to go back to work, build my money up. But it's just the fact, like my body's so equipped on nightlife. Yeah, you know what I'm saying so like, it'd be a struggle for me because I was at the mindset like I can lose this today, make it tomorrow. Mm-hmm. But it was right. like I couldn't. Right. Now money just ain't the same. But right. back going back to Wild Horse, I'm making a having a whole business deal, talking. Talking to an OG. Mm-hmm. We all know the OG. We, we really all know him by name. Mm-hmm. We ain't jumping on names. But at the end of the day, 
because I still I am Jovan Lavelle Otis from Louisville, Kentucky. Right. And I also am Lavelle's son. At the end of the day, and I am a grown ass man too. And I always carried myself as a grown man. Right. I always mm-hmm. carried myself as a man in general. Period. I'm a black man at that. And, uh, and that's how I'm always going to come. And everybody respects me for that. Right. I'm always going to be non filtered non apologetic. I'm yeah. going to tell you how I feel regardless. Mm-hmm. But this little sissy. <laughs> but this motherfucking sissy. A punk. A punk. Bitch, your fan. Got me fucked up. I'm going to say All right, get out. I'm going to block it. We like 30 ain't, days. Listen, we ain't going to get blocked because I am LGBT co- community in the, the day. We talk mm. We talk like it's within our own community. Okay. So today, if you want shit to change me, change it with our own community. Hands down. Yeah, you know about them. Mm-hmm. So, uh, <laughs> and I'm going to talk my shit. <laughs> my little half a hand. Hey, I'm um, I get two of them. <laughs> I get hit. I get hit. And bruh, when I tear up, motherfuckers felt like my little nephew was hitting me, bruh. So you was by the door going out. I was behind the bar. Bro, no, I was behind the bar. He was behind I was the behind bar. the bar. That's like the I'm at Wild Horse. I've been at Wild Horse over six or seven months. Like, y'all was not even my in my mind. But now the podcast is popping. And we need content. And I see how much yeah, we had said really fuck my with us. On that like, man. When we walked in that club, we walked in I how love, 502 man. baddies want to be. Mm-hmm. For the end of the day, <laughs> feel what I'm saying? So I'm going to talk my shit, but also be respectful in the same time. We got out here, too. So he hit me, and I'm just like, I came back. I was like, oh, bitch, it's a motherfucking mm-hmm. punk. I'm thinking it's finally a hood nigga finally getting his shot. Like, damn, I'm, re- I'm, re- mm-hmm. I'm really about to I show thought y'all the same thing, friend. demon time. Thing. Like, I'm about to show y'all demon time. And then when I seen the little punk, I was like, damn, you a sissy. I'm about to tell you up. Because then I'm not about to let this fucking sissy bitch embarrass me out in public. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you try to embarrass my character. And also, I had to think about it, too. This is the first room I ever been in everybody ever, ever seen me fight. Mm-hmm. So these are new niggas who went around virtue time. Mm-hmm. My lords, he's around niggas around virtue time. Mm-hmm. I'm having to say that hands down. I agree. I when we all agree. start, that's my loyalty my type shit. called me one night and said, I beat the fuck out this one nigga. Like, <laughs> like Peter Griffin fight that chicken on me. That's not your fuck, did it, nigga. I'm but, like, Mo God. I just wanted to, we can have a rebuttal on talking no, about for that. Real. Just don't put your hands on me. Yeah. Don't put your hands on me. Like, I'm not this, like, this, everybody, I'm just this sissy, this fag, whatever vacation. But there's some new niggas who think that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, the people I've been rock with for a long time, you might think that, but any day you was like, nah, fuck that. That nigga's a whole nigga. I'll right. be ready to have that's a nigga around my bitch. Cause no, you should be worried about me having me around your bitch. For real. <laughs> now you taking niggas bitches? No, I ain't taking nobody's uh, bitches. I just do what they ask for. And they, and I just feel that they need. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm still a nigga too. <laughs> so, at the end of the day, we, they got, they got, they, a motherfucker was paid. Boom. Paid. That's what we was told. We, we was told paid. I don't know. We was told paid. We was told paid. 250 in an eight ball. In the purse. <laughs> in purse. <laughs> purse. <laughs> Nigga, that don't even sound like a joke. That don't uh, be, for real. We heard it from a, a few people. The bitch who got the same bloodline as that motherfuckers who hit us. I thought y'all was cool. I ain't gonna drop no name. But it don't make sense because the gay boy, I wish y'all the sissy boy, was in our inbox. I wish y'all get back inbox. together because y'all was all like... Who? I ain't gonna say no name because we gonna bring on this shit. I just... Who? Y'all all cool? Who? Who y'all was saying? I'm not saying no names. Who? The Who? sissy boys? We only, the only sissy no, boys who us. a girl. My I, best friend? Yeah. Oh, you got cool? No. We okay. been... Listen. Well, thank God I'd say it's my best friend. Uh, oh, it's my best friend. I'm able to lie best okay. friend and pop her shit. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. But if I really sit back and let best friend pop her shit, she's really saying the same shit to the ex niggas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I would just follow you know the story. Like, like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would never. Like, Nobody knows what's going know, on. Yeah. I know what I have and with I Diamond and Tiny. And I ain't buying I know it. what I got with Diamond and Tiny. Like, yeah. in the day, them are my friends. Yes, mm-hmm. I met Tiny mm-hmm. through Diamond, but me and Tiny okay. have our ups and downs. Yeah, we got Me and Tiny can never see eye to eye because we just delight, but she just got a pussy and I got a dick, so it's kind of two different things. <laughs> so it's like the women are winning right now, type shit. I'm saying because women. Yes, are new today's right women's now. are today, today's women is the new, new tricks. tricks. Yes, so it's just our, like cheers, friend. We new tricks. About it. Yeah, they, yes. yes. Like these girls are in their bags. They and niggas, bags. if you are lacking, you need to pull up your dick game or something <laughs> and get cracking. You better blow that because blow up. you better make it happen. You gotta make it happen because these women are in their bags. They're coming for top positions. Mm-hmm. They are the top position at these yeah. motherfucking jobs and businesses. Yeah, yeah. You got to lay it lay yeah. it down. Well, yeah. I'm just a nine to five nigga, my bad. It's okay. Some bitch, it's one of these boss bitches that accept your nine to five. Mm-hmm. 
They not in Kentucky though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, they God damn. Kentucky. The These bitches is we're living off of uh Commonwealth. <laughs> I'm like, bitch, you know, I, my, me and my friends got in an argument because they was like, well, wow, you should get food stamps. I said, well, you know what? Well, they was With my personal you. business, you know what? I probably could get some food stamps. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I only, be, I only do my taxes quarterly for my business. So I can slide in when I can slide in. So I'm like, okay, we can do six months. Wait six months. You know it's an assistance. That's why you certify. It makes you re. That well, make you recertify. I, just, I just heard a rap song. He's like, "Girl, won't you do a job for six months? Then we gonna start flipping chickens." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "God damn." I'm weak. I'm That's weak. crazy. But yeah, we cool. We okay, cool. cool. But y'all cool. would never know the underline of what we got. Yeah, on. that's good. Yeah. I haven't noticed it yeah. since we've been together. And that's what real. And that's what real day, friends like, is about for real. We, like, we know what y'all ask for every day. Yeah. And I know the sacrifices sometimes people gotta take. But in the day, I know what I do. Okay. In the day, I know what I bring to the table with my friends, and we mm-hmm. know what we do together as a unit. So that we know where the goats of the strip club scene. Mm-hmm. The strip club scene. How you feel every, about the strip club? I love it. I, 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 I don't. I ain't got like. I get to be the most vulnerable with your bitch or the bitch is single. Not my <laughs> bitch. No, I don't got no bitches yeah, in strip club. Don't just, say that because everybody gonna be like, "Ling ling, 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 ling my nigga." But you was dating Ling Ling at the time, bro. Yeah. yeah what y'all, what y'all, hold on. What y'all a TikTok couple? No, nah, I was really together. Was okay. Together. When we was a TikTok. But when y'all started doing the TikTok shit, that's when y'all broke up. No, nah, we broke up. They did the real life special and broke up. Right. Y'all did the real life special and broke up. I ain't seen. Nothing after that. I'm talking about that motherfucking like silhouette challenge. Nah, we broke up with a nigga. Yeah, the silhouette at, challenge. We broke up yeah. with a nigga at jail. I agree, but <laughs> he said I agree. <laughs> I agree, but shit, you knew what he was giving her emotionally. Yeah, and that's my girls, dog. Don't be. And my point is that she's always gonna be here. I'm yeah, that's my dog. I fuck with Lily. That's my dog. She's back dancing because you know she. You know what? Bruh, she's didn't... like she's like how I was I just saw talking about that when I was watching. She does. Park. I was like, oh, she back know, stripping. You know, how some bitches be in the game for so long. You like, damn, bitch, you need to quit. She's smart. She's she been doing it for a minute. She do six months, <laughs> get off for five, do three. So you can't really even. No, but when I was dating her, she stopped. But Ling Ling can be the coldest stripper. Yes. She can be the coldest thing in anything. But she's too mesmerizing. She mesmerizes these niggas out here. Nah, but she's she's talented. She's really talented. That was was always my issue. I agree with what he said. That was always my issue with Ling Ling. And me and her always bumped heads with that. was like, because I'm bold enough to tell you, like, you suck. Like, you suck right now. Like, And I'm pissed that you allowing yourself to be this bull because you're traumatized by BBLs and motherfucking breast ups and motherfucking veneers. And really, yeah. these, uh, I'm just saying, these niggas, they <laughs> really. I don't be with it. Like, they sliding back to the natural no, but, bitches. No, but at, natural like, like besides the stripper, like, she is talented. Like, she can play the piano. I don't know if y'all know that. Yeah, like, she's an artist. Mm-hmm. She's an artist. Yeah, she's an artist. Like, she can act she's a little bit. Artist. She can rap. She's she an artist. Need I thought she was going on a little TV show. What happened to that? You know any insights on uh, that? When she was trying to, uh, yeah, a little, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about that Y'all shit. Y'all know what Megan Stein, you know, she had a cup, she said, oh. All right, we're talking about that <laughs> shit. <laughs> but... Y'all was a thing. Yeah, that's cool. Really we cool. Thing, yeah, y'all might, was, I might not swing. I, I like when y'all was a TikTok couple, though. Uh, I tried to swing the block, then yeah, we got it back in, too. I might swing the block again. I would. <laughs> Not right now. Not right now. Right box now. Let him just get a bag. Right? All right. Box locker. <laughs> he said not right now. Right, All right, I'm straight. Let's just sit it's all over. I see you. Right, you just get out focus. <laughs> okay. Amy's her six months. Yeah, she does her six focus. months. <laughs> and then she go back then. Right, I, yeah. I get it in yeah. June. I get it in June. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Got to come around again, type shit. Uh, 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 no surprise, but I'm Valentine's Day. So are you, uh, so are you, are you throwing parties or are you just okay. fucking on the podcast right no, now? No, right now on the podcast, right now on the podcast, but I am still doing parties, but I'm just more, I'm also connected out of town right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm out of town, like, faithfully right now. Like, my main focus is, like, this is my third year Stripper Bowl Tour, season three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll be I, consistent. Bro, bro. Nigga, I caught a flat tire trying to go to this nigga in you Ohio. Did, you did, you did. And that's where I'm starting at. Oh, they yo, love yeah. me in Ohio. Ooh, I got a stripper in so some dust y'all got put on. Yep, I need you. I, I need, need her. Photography. Okay. But this year, 2024, I'm dropping season three stripper bow tour again. We started in, in Columbus with um, Coochie Allen on Friday. That's cool. my new baby. Coochie Allen is my new baby. Mm-hmm. It's a new line of strippers. Mm-hmm. I'm using a whole new line of girls who you never seen, who I never posted. You're going to have from your natural to your midgets to your white girls. Midgets. To everything because it's the Face. Because midgets. it's the Allen midgets. full of coochies. It's the Allen full of coochies. Cooch, my midget? Yes. Bring yes. her to the city. Yes. But I'm going to get Louisville. <laughs> Listen, the only reason I'm going to do Louisville last is because... 
they not I'm ready. Standing on, I'm not sitting on business. I'm sitting on people's necks. Because at the end of the day, it's, a, it's, it's a statement. It's a statement. It's a statement. It's a statement. I'm getting irritated because you're lying. My prettiest girls, not even that, my other girls in the city who I really still fuck with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, you're really not giving them their bag that they really deserve. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I know, to me, I know what it can take to get money out of Louisville in the strip club scene. So how do it like is what's the main problem with strip clubs? Cause it's, the girls don't get along. The they girls do get along. The girl, I'm saying the girls do get along. And they when they get along. Work, they because when I started, bitches, I want to be ahead. Nah, cause when they I started, they along. all like I started when they first like mm-hmm. everybody was mm-hmm. fucking cool. Like they was mm-hmm. best friends. But they wasn't. But they wasn't. Yeah, but they wasn't. It was yeah. before the BBLs and, and I got the teeth. All stuff. them pictures of but all of those dancers who was bought girls. It was like the new wave coming. When this is what I think happened when Diamond became. A stripper, it changed the it fucking. Changed. She was a bottle girl when she started stripping. It <laughs> because fucked I can up give you everything. this. Because I can give you this. It's this an exclusive. Is- that you so right. But her best friend was already ready to. No. That time, um, she was, I, not, she was, she was more not. money. She was making more, more money. money but she's, I remember that. But she, um, Tiny, I'm gonna say this, and this is real G as fuck. Tiny has been a in clicks, not clicks, but Tiny always worked with girls like Don and Eris before mm. Don became. Right. You know what I'm saying? She's been around. Tiny always been around. But it took that girl Diamond because Tiny ain't like Diamond. Nah, Diamond don't, Diamond's gonna speak her shit. Tiny just gonna stay quiet yeah. and just focus on business at hand right. and right. keep going. Right. She ain't that type of girl. But when Diamond came on the scene, like, it bitch, changed. I'm gonna pop my shit. And I don't give a fuck who don't fucking like it. It changed. End everything. of the day. I'm about a girl, but still making money more than this fucking dancer. Yeah, mm-hmm. type shit. So where the clubs I, I like Diamond that. though, like you gotta choose if you're gonna be a bottle girl or a dancer. I remember that. You know I remember saying? that. I remember them stats. So it kind of changed the game. It fucked the game up. It fucked it up. <laughs> Diamond it fucked, fucked the game that motherfucking up. game up. I remember that. At when the that was before she niggas, got her body done. No, nah, yes. she, she just got her body done. She just got her. It body was done. before she got her body because she was a bottle girl. Yeah, I remember that. I got pictures because I remember one day she was leaving this video. She was like, "Come, don't don't leave, don't leave." But she she's Diamond's cool as fuck. Like she's a nice person. If that's what, that's why we get along because I can look past her Sagittarius ways. I can look past mm, yeah, like, she, her no, like man, barking and being no at the person. time. Like, girl, I right, we actually got a we here. On the show. Like yeah. we being best friend, we here. I'll let you bump. That's my thing with women. I will let y'all bicker and argue all damn day. Yeah, she could have me. I'll let y'all bicker all damn day, like, but end of the day. That would change that motherfucking scene right too. These girls they had no choice but to step up. I'm sorry. They did because that's sorry. when I, I started. I'm this sorry. is what I'm happened because I was she giving me Nicki Minaj vibes. Huh? Yeah. yeah, she's yeah. definitely our Nicki. Bad. I Yo, fucking Nicki love her. Too, right? she's bad. She that was bad. I don't know hey, what Nicki Nicki is. is. She was bad, but Diamond, like, I remember the whole thing. Like, soon Diamond starts stripping. Because it was, because I remember, because that's when I was in exclusive. Because I was in exclusive. Like, mm-hmm. like that was my mm-hmm. shit. They were mad because she was making money, more money than the bartender. She started dancing. Then, the, uh, like, I hate how, like, because I don't know, bro. I just hate it. Y'all need to get together. Mm-hmm. That's the only way. That's the only way, but I don't know if y'all got too much bad blood where they can't fix it. But they not so fixing that shit. Sugarland is opening up February second. It it's going the fuck down. Going down. It's going down in Sugarland. Shout out to Yolanda. I've Shout out to Yolanda. Mm-hmm. Who else is? Uh, I can't go in that motherfucker. Why? Because they got somebody I can't go in. There, man. I don't want to mess with nothing. I don't want no bad vibes. But shout out to Sugarland, Yolanda. <laughs> I, 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 Do you feel like it's gonna be bad vibes? I just don't want to put myself in situations. I, I feel like every everybody has a situation. Like it depends on if it's gonna happen that night or if it's gonna be that. So really we can't just peace. put ourselves I really all over there. My peace in the midst of me going out. Yeah. If I know I'm more peaceful at home, so you won't go to Sugarland no more. I, I ain't. It depends on who's there. I never said I would never go. But how could you know who's there? I saw the new flyer for the through reopening. You, through you, the people who do that. Who through me? Yeah. <laughs> Did you post it? I saw the flyer. So I was like, nah. I, I definitely post posted the flyer. That's my yeah, girl. But I love Yolanda. I fuck with Yolanda, yeah. Yolanda. And if she ever need me to pop out, I'll pop out for her but one time. But I'm going to sound like I'm going to work. Yeah, there's mm-hmm. too much bullshit going on. Like, nigga don't, right got, nigga don't got time to be tussling. Mm-hmm. My foot got beef out here, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's what he's giving, like, he's tippy-toeing. Are you egg in Louisville? Shit. I know exactly what it is. You're egg exactly what it is. No, it's just like, with this podcast <laughs> shit, niggas like... I don't know. Like niggas don't know how. I don't know. I don't niggas don't know how to be talked to or joked on. Like 
it's like taking it oh my gosh we've yeah, been through that, like been through that, that our whole like, journey our whole journey our whole journey's been like i done been exposed talked about luther done did a whole segment on me like like what like what is luther ride you out when she dropped she dropped my sex taste around the city we was exposing each other no ling ling dropped the it was when they was a TikTok couple yeah and luther talked about me it comes with that shit. i learned Bro, it's not one thing a motherfucking can do on Facebook that's gonna move me. Wait, right. You know what, so you know what girls be dumb and when they do that shit? They turn everybody else they turn on. Everybody on you. They do. Now they, they can make it, they, they're and making they, everybody they else. Because mm-hmm. the attention, he getting so much attention out of this point is for a two. Mm-hmm. Now, I, 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 bitch, I forgot about you. Now I'm spreading some new pussy. Oh, uh, yeah. Point, like, mm-hmm. it's pussy. Bitch, you never talked to me before. the same thing at happens when point, the girls like, expose men like, on like, Facebook. Y'all be yeah, dumb when y'all do that. Y'all be dumb. When women expose, like, men. Or DL men or whatever on Facebook and it goes shit like that. No, that for real, so be real. True. Like when it happens, I want you to know that you didn't set a standard for everybody who the, the hood niggas that want to be DL <laughs> or the gay niggas that are gay or the trans or whatever the, whatever want to hit you hit you hit him up. Yep, yep. We already know that you messing with it. So what's up? <laughs> you turn everybody on. So that's like when old girl got caught sucking like, dick. Who? Uh, uh, we. You know who was sucking dick? We not doing that. It's sugar. No, 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 no. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, face. anyway. I don't know. Who? Uh, I don't know. Oh, oh, girl, she did get a pussy spot. You know she got could dick spot. Who? No, we can talk about it because it's really raw. And I want some of that. You up. want some That was a lazy. She could have did better. She needed a. That nigga had no teeth. <laughs> I said too fucking much. <laughs> I said too fucking much. But listen, but listen, but we, they we exposed her for all everybody all. who wanted them. Why did he everybody do Everybody who wanted to try that. I everybody, think, I I think everybody that's, that's what I said. I think, I think every time a, a man exposes a woman, mm-hmm. it don't make nothing but the And vice versa. Makes I, I, got exposed, exposed, the man. Yeah. I got exposed. I got exposed. I got exposed too. I was turned up. I got exposed weird. It's the same. You got exposed. Like, it was just like, what the right? fuck? That time we got exposed, it wasn't like. Vice, you get exposed? It wasn't like. Like Papa had his name and yeah. you know what to do and how to move. Yeah, you got to know how to maneuver. Like, after that, it was size limit for me, so I had nothing to add after that. You, you, you don't. Did. You don't. You don't. You don't. <laughs> so I'm Shit. free. I was never had from the beginning. I'm saying, y'all was I don't know. I don't understand that bullshit. These I think niggas I, was popping. I think that shit's lame. Exposing. Mm. Like, y'all was popping. Because this is my thing, though, is when you arguing. Okay, so this is what I be feeling like with women. Like they want to. Once y'all, they've been together for two years. Once y'all break up, now you want to talk about my feet stink and uh, he has shitty drawers and all of this and this. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But you was with me for so long. That's why I learned how to talk better about somebody. That's why. I don't like never talk about it. Because so go go mm-hmm. you know, if you leave on good terms, you still got that one little nudge you can hear your motherfucker with when you leave on good terms. Yeah, like my dumb ass ex come straight you. back, talk to me about why you don't like? Don't why you so far? Let's hear. I, I can hear you. Arguing with hoes like that. Why? Because like, I'll be like, because I can really be like, remember when I ate your pussy good? God mm. damn! <laughs> your boyfriend we got kids on this motherfucker. No, they better not be on. This is trap talk. Trap motherfucker. This is what you mean, trap talk. Cheers, cheers, y'all. Cheers, Let's talk talks. about it. Cheers. Let's Thank talk y'all about for having us a guest for it. Nah, no problem. Your mom is on the show. Everybody, I don't got no more licking. But you know what? I did want to address um about. Back when y'all was doing the <laughs> what, like, oh, no, oh talking no, about, I had, you always do it for you got a whole little thing over here. So go ahead and talk about when you said I was yeah. talking. I don't about remember this. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember, remember it. I remember, I remember the podcast. I don't remember nobody. Talking. So what did I say? It was too. it wasn't you. It was it was uh face. Yeah. Oh man, what I uh, say? Yeah, uh huh. He thought he was love. It's smooth. What I say? He thought he was smooth. What face say? Which one you want? You want a, a mix? Yeah. Boy, what you got in that bag? This thing got a whole mix. They got a gun and everything. We can, you know, we we got the, we going on other people's <laughs> shit. People don't know how to, you know. We surprised. We even got to smoke everywhere else. We can't even. We can't even slide. Smoke. I'm like, bitch. I wish I would got a vape. See, mm-hmm. see, see. I work at, see. I work at a job where it's legal at, and the state's mm-hmm. legal, so I'm good. Yeah. Too. Okay. Yeah. So me too. <laughs> so I don't uh, know about. I'm part of a union too. So, yeah. <laughs> right. so, yeah, so let's talk about it. What, what did what he say? About it. So he say? okay, so it was when they had Bella. I think I had Bella here, and y'all was doing the drawings, or y'all was doing yeah, the nominees. Man. Oh, oh you the nominees. About that yes. Okay. So y'all got to okay. the podcast section, right? Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then uh, <laughs> when it got there, it was kind of like Bella. I don't know who read it off, and it was like you know the messy besties. Oh, I know them. This, 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 and. Uh, 
face. <laughs> what did face like? Hype man I was like, uh, <laughs> he goes. Are we correct by the name? We're being respectful. That's yeah. So, no, no, what, what did he say? What is hype man face? I, no, I didn't. I was, I was, I broke That's it. I was trying to figure out where it was. Anyway, um, well, this bitch. He up. goes, he goes and says, um, it's not even a podcast. They ain't even got no damn equipment. They just sitting on the couch. Oh yeah, you need to go back and watch it yourself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I gotta give it. And I'm like, so so he's gonna be the reason why we don't do the the, the awards this year. He's the reason, not me. My man. That's why I'm I got like, stuck. Let's talk about. I'm it. like, yeah, let's, I said, I it. said, what do you mean we're not a podcast? Because I love first or lounge days. We had little mics. Hey, y'all was killing. We had little mics. Remember, remember, remember he was... 38. <laughs> 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 Y'all fucked up. <laughs> My niggas are white and hey, my Oh, real talk. Hey, uh, I can't even say that. Did we reach I, probably, out I was in. The, I, I probably did. did. We reach an hour. I, was in I the, think we reached the hour. Yeah, we. Uh, yep, we right at. I gotta that. need a. Uh, yeah, when we on YouTube, we, when we reach an hour, we gotta. But it's okay if you ain't, you ain't got to touch it. No, what's up? What's up? No, we good. We straight. We keep going. But yeah, I was kind of yeah, feeling bro. that little hot roasting session. <laughs> what? No, I was talking, bro. You, that's why I got snuck, cause I was talking shit that night. Fucked up. What? Oh, so you no, talked on somebody's know, name? I didn't talk on somebody's no, name. This and they is what happened. You. This is what happened. Honest, God, true. A nigga thought I said something, and this mm. nigga had the biggest problem with me, and I and I never said a word, nothing bad about this man. And this nigga had a problem. That's with how me. we got snuck because that's person, how I got the snuck. Who was really talking shit about you? You really didn't even get hit. Mm. To a motherfucker who's trying to be that's humble exactly. in a motherfucking scene, and you want to hit that nigga that's like, exactly. because you want to feel like you got the biggest dick in me. Like, no, <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to say that. With no, because I have no to it's a saying. It's oh, like okay. saying. It's like, a saying. But yeah, but the most dominant <laughs> person. A dominant you need person. You to grow the room, fuck up. Like, <laughs> 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 no, but my thing is like, I had respect for dude. Like. It but blew my fucking mind. Let you know where that is. It, it blew you. my mind. Like I never in my like. That's not my. I'm not the type of nigga. Like I'm a photographer. It's my job to make you look good. Mm -hmm. So what? Well, that's I, your job. That's but you my, as a human being. So what am I you. going around talking bad about somebody? Like, I don't no, care. No, like you, I got too much. Did you say stuff. anything? Did you? Did you? Because people nowadays. Hate when somebody nah, comment snuck, off of. Nigga snuck them too, though. They hate when you comment no, off of the statement. No, I didn't snuck them. No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying the comment. They saying nah, what you said on the live. I was not. He thought I said. Did so. you comment off of somebody's so rebuttal? He felt it was I know, I can show, one. No, no, we no, no. We talk our shit, but he never put a name on it. But the nigga felt some type of way. No, I didn't say a a, a thing. You didn't say a thing. He, oh, nothing, he, took it, he took it the way he took it. Like I got the footage. I didn't say a thing. All I said was, all I said was, oh my god. It's hot in here. Turn on the fan. Then we did the next subject. As I got it. I got the footage. Never said nothing about this man. Then all of a sudden we got a problem. I just don't like when we was like we was when we is was it like a common person. Right. Y'all know who it is. But is he dark skin? No, nah, I said off the podcast because I ain't trying to spot this. I ain't no, trying to bring. Really I ain't said. trying to bring it, it back it ain't up. No motherfucker bitch. It's being grown, really. We already been that's really what it, it's really just being grown. Like that's really what it. Look really at your is. flyer. That's who it is on your flyer. Oh, so it's only been one person on flyer since this year. The Sugarland flyer. Shout out to Sugarland. They reopening, reopening, reopening. Oh, like, you talking uh, about for the culture? Yes. <laughs> That's an old nigga. In the day, it's just an old nigga feels some type of way. In the day, I can say this in front of this motherfucking face too. And I'm a point, mm. look at the camera, look at it too. Like, <laughs> you're just a seasoned, a 38, 40 year old nigga who, in the day, <laughs> who's still trying to get where he wants to be when he was 20 something years old. And I get it, but also you have to be respectful of the millenniums of now. Yeah, mm. but I never said nothing. You're not going but, to, but he felt some type yeah, of Yeah, and I didn't say a thing. Because you're, you're the closest thing to the nigga. And I'm not going. So I saw him at the awards, then mm -hmm. I got kicked out. But then when I oh, when no, I was... No, I'm a skeleton <clears throat> I got kicked out that motherfucker. Because of that? Skeleton face. It wouldn't... Where was you? I was at the awards? Hell no. Nah. Damn, don't do the awards like that. I went to the award. Don't hate on the awards. Like, man, hold on. No. I, okay, so I went to the yeah. award. I definitely went to the award. So, well, according to the awards. Hey, matter of fact, but Messi, Messi. The word, but then you go to the awards to see what the fuck was going on. You already knew. I went you to the This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. Messi, Bessie's red carpet. No. Why not? We hosting the awards. 
or you going or we can be smart we can do awards but we would host no them. i'm still because we was, always had the agreement of doing a red carpet mm -hmm. tino share with every award we have and we my have. thing is we i'm have. not about to hype your pre-show when really i know we're on the show mm -hmm. that's how we feel uh, right, right. No, I feel right. that. I but feel no, that, but, and I know okay, that this, because this that, we're going to let you feel classic, bougie, mm. and ratchet yeah. all in one sentence. Let's do it because this is what we doing. When it comes to this podcast shit, it's 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 us. It's us. Mm -hmm. So we're starting this shit out mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. how I started this club shit out. I'm the littlest. Like we're just going to be the OGs in this shit because mm -hmm. this is what we starting mm -hmm. off. So. Mm -hmm. Just do it, bro. Come to the red carpet, y'all. Y'all hot. Y'all can't. Y'all can't. We want to host the show. Do, we ain't doing red carpet. Yeah, host the show. It's hard to do that. Because Who they have host gonna, the show? You're gonna have the same host every single year. Like, yeah, but I just want to. I just want to get back and reflect when, on where I was feeling. I have to throw some shade, but when? Yeah. When do you get tired of booking the same host who went viral over fucking multiple times and still ain't made it nowhere outside of Louisville? Mm -hmm. You're still making the same income. What are we talking about now? Well, it's everybody who they pick as a host. Mm -hmm. Who hosted last year? Last year, I think it was Cam. It was Cam. And who else? Bella. Uh, who Bella else? Ray. That's it. AJ was a trophy then, girl. Then who was the pre-host? Of the extra flyers, EB got booked somewhere so he couldn't. Come. It was some, so you had your C Tez and mm, you had, had your, C uh, No, C Tez went, went up there with Splash Bros. But you, he I was there. Uh, I, I got kicked it's out. Still so like I, a main face. platform. You got kicked out of what awards? I got kicked them out. Them are your hosts. Them are your real the hosts. KY Everett Awards. <laughs> you got kicked out. I was fighting. I tried. That's what happened. That's you the ratchet. Oh, you a man. Yeah, I told y'all he wasn't telling y'all the whole motherfucking story. Alcohol. Oh yeah. But so, my so, thing but so my thing I, of it is is my thing of it is if you like if you're gonna run a proper show, I feel like that all of the nominees should be welcomed there. Now they not now they did not tell nobody prior to the event that they needed to be there prior for a certain time. Yeah, okay? they yeah they did, yeah they did, yeah they did. Yeah, they did. No, they this did. is this we is the thing. email. I, yeah, I didn't everybody, I didn't know this is, email. No, I, it was a no I'm gonna say um, was it a same day email? No, they sent it to the um email and I got the email. Well but when I looked at the email, me personally, I'm not about to let my friend personally because in that I really introduced my friend into Abella and I run his home. Hold on, wait. So you had uh, got a mother no, you got the, Yeah, no, everybody get an email. I have to be real because the round went. This is why would I still go or you you will go I, I know why you're going. I know why you going. And we already had a pre-conversation about bitch. the world show. Well, and we already gave our opinion about the world show. So I know why you're mm -hmm. going. You're going to look at some motherfucking foolery like I would too. But I rather sit at home. But I have to be respectful of the world show is because it's the same shit every year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been in a business meeting with these niggas when I was hanging out with Bella, yeah. planning the fucking war show. So when you portray it on social media, it's still the same shit. Yeah, I have to be real, y'all. I have to be real. It, and I feel like the work to me, person, the best award show we probably did have was, it was the year before that. The year before that, when they had the uh, open, it was yeah, a lot of like, yeah, it was got very the show mm -hmm. at the uh, at the other venue at Birmingham. Mm -hmm. It was at Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Birmingham. I, got, I didn't. I got. I didn't. I liked that one. You got to showcase mobile and a night. platform mm -hmm. musically, where to you I gave really a platform really to everybody mm -hmm. instead I agree. of they instead year made of, me want to um, be a part of the next the, year. To me, yeah. it's just me hypothetically, just me, me thinking. If I was there, yeah. if I was in the outside listening, they probably seen it like shit. We ain't did nothing in a minute so we have to try to reach out to the hottest people who we think is to the hottest but really ain't the hottest right now it's like being comfortable to a situation and you know we know we're gonna get these numbers but mm -hmm. we know you probably could have made a little more numbers if you really would have did it a little different this time because our age us millennials we get tired of seeing the same shit mm -hmm. Yeah. You really getting tired since that's why we don't go outside no more. So you feel like the allegiance not in tune they to just in tune. what's now? Yeah. 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 And well, they we can, can work on be, that. and they can be, but yeah, we can I work understand on that. the cult. Cool. And my thing is, it's it's so cult, for... but I understand but I understand the agreement with a cult. It's yeah. just only within this establishment. I understand mm -hmm. it when it becomes a cult. From sense, so I understand it too, but also you need to like listen to your people too. Yeah. Because I'm happy to get rid of that white girl. Like <laughs> P. Oh. 
AP ain't no, got no. AP right? still there. She still there. <laughs> damn, Josh, AP. Damn, oh, damn, man. Okay, drunk. Damn, that's my family. Oh, oh no, 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 AP. No, I, I AP. Shout, shout to AP, AP, man. Shout let's AP. talk about it. No, 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 girl. Let's talk about it. <laughs> like, it's just giving me, like, we need you, girl, because you have the white resources. She did. <laughs> that's what it was giving. And you need uh, those sources. Bro, you why really did need AP, those sources. Bro, why did we go to the little John concert? <laughs> Bro, this is the only thing I don't like about AP. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say it. Bro, she called me like, yeah, I'm having this little giant concert. So you pull up with the camera. So I'm like, okay, I might get back access. access. I think I'll pull up to this motherfucker. She's like, hey, how you doing? Hit me in the face. Switch it up on you. I'm like, why'd you let me bring my camera? I'm just enjoying the show. I don't like, like, if I'm not backstage, I'm not doing no concert. Like, yes, I, like yes, it's a, a, a it's type of a status. Yeah. yeah, yeah I do agree. I'm not a nigga in the like crowd. Like possibility, take girl. Like, you give a lot of possibilities, but girl, you're not the girl that comes to I'm me. like, that was fucked up. And she texts me. I'm like, I, no, like, come on, bro. But shout out to AP, though. She, she, she. I think nah, she don't. Right. Do AP like will put a lot of work in. Who's AP? The one that worked at WHAS? Yes. yes. Oh, no, we didn't get cool with that bitch. No, we That's all we do. <laughs> yeah, we do. She needs to do my segment because we got a, we got we got something coming up for real real soon. You can do that for Dr. Wicked, bro. No, she's going to do our. <laughs> yes, I she ain't is. going to the plantation, bitch. AP is cool. AP is cool, people. It's cool, but I think, listen, y'all. This is why I shit get yeah, ruined. Like, like, it's I people, people get burned into this bitch. Like, I've been around y'all. Yeah. I've and I'm not drunk, y'all. for a long time. But AT- and I've been around y'all people when y'all talk shit about other people. Like, if you're going to do that person that way, oh, all right, shit. no. Oh, you my God. You can do me the same exact way. Mm-hmm. So my, uh, my, my, my shit's up like this, bitch. I'm looking like George Floyd. Like, <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the crazy thing. The crazy, like, thing no. the crazy thing about the nightlife is that you're going to be around somebody that done talk bad yes. about somebody and yes. see them hug and yes. shake hands. Yes, yes. with that like, same what? person. I feel like, they talk shit about like i'd be like what the fuck i do have a question what it might be it's a whole game changer Why are you changing the game? because i y'all kind of lost me in that conversation that y'all was here but i feel, no don't feeling like what we're talking about the in awards, in twine we were talking about the award yeah the little nigga award <laughs> that little hey, nigga award hey. <laughs> I was. We in the goddamn building. We in the building, goddamn it. It got a rough. That little boy award. At least we're in the building. I really mean? want you. No, because I was sitting there for now all day. Some, now we hitting on some motherfucking foundation shit. <laughs> Talk about how. Uh, you feel about the nigga words with uh, Miss B96? What? 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 Miss B96. What happened? Oh my gosh, Shrimp, I don't know what's going on. Oh no. <laughs> what the fuck? Not my nigga. Best Not his nigga. That's our nigga shit. too. That's what? our nigga too. What happened? But we allowed to have our friends be held accountable too. Like, end of the day. What do he like, do? No, it ain't what he does, what she do. Oh no. no. Bella? <laughs> what Bella do? Oh, no, no. What did she do? The messy Bessie. We better go to commercial break in this club. What did she do? Hey, all I know is the allegiance is a motherfucker. Because the messy Bessie, because the messy Bessie said, because the messy Bessie said, we're not, all, we had to talk in the same no business. And we're going to stand on your neck in a respectful way. Yeah. yeah. We are because at the end of the day, we're going to respect what you do or whatever. We also. Oh, okay. I know where you're pulling we, to, we, we, we're, we're, I know where you're pulling our, to. Because our messy bestie is real and raw conversation. Yes. So we're vulnerable enough to put our own mm. shit on the table. Okay. Let's mm. type shit. With our friend Bella. Yes. <laughs> because... Frank, you felt some, you felt some type of I way. did feel some type but of Okay, so for me, I love Bella. We all love Bella. Yeah, I, mean, I love Bella. Love, I mean, I, I, that's my, my baby. Because we like, talking about down. the awards, and it's also the same girl who hosts the, every single awards, too. Yeah. Okay. From the same, so like, we're talking about the awards, so it all kind am of I all speaking, ties in. Am I speaking on just like how friend has just been handing shit out? Boom. Okay. Boom. 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 Okay. So recently, <laughs> when it's 502, like for me, like, like or if y'all have y'all could probably feel the same exact way too. I so feel, for me, I so about. for me, yeah. So for me, how we fix yeah. Curses and what they're not seeing. So for I me, know exactly it's just, what y'all talking yeah. about. So for me, it's just like too. every time, like if it, I don't know. How, ooh, how I think, I, I think. How much I put in words? So my thing of it is is being straightforward. Yeah, is very much is 
our friend is handing out these positions for everybody to come on to a platform and things of that sort that is very smally fucking minor. So this is what I'm so this is what I'm getting out of it. The 502 Baddies went to the radio station. That, Why? Uh, nigga! Why? That's what the fuck because I said. And then, and then, I'm like, you. and then Jamie, and, and then Jamie. I don't even know because they paid. We don't even know what the situation was, but why? And then Jamie. Bro, I was thinking the same. And why? then she went on Luther. Hey, then she I'm inboxed Luther and asked, I'm not gonna and asked Luther to come on the show. And then my thing of it is, is like, why? Damn. So explain, okay, to a lot of people. That so you coming from basically our friend. We all feel the, the same day. way. I feel we the all feel the same way. Our friend at the end of the day, I ain't begging for no cry. But like, my right, friend right, know right, me. Right, right, friend right. know me. I ain't begging for yeah. no cry. All yeah. my friends know me. So that. end of the day, like you know, you've been around and you know what the fuck's been going on. Mm -hmm. And we used to have these conversations. End of the day, even we don't talk every day, but when we see each other in public, let's keep it how it is on right. the internet too. Mm -hmm. Right. So how we act in public, it needs to be on social media too. So. So we're gonna treat it like that. So, but when you out here handing motherfucking, you got a car, you got a car, you got a car, you got a car, mm -hmm. got a car type mm -hmm. shit, and you got people in the city who's really yeah. getting snuck out here yeah. because mm -hmm. we talking about some real and raw shit that Lil was really afraid to talk about. Mm -hmm. Right. So we really being the voice for you, really, because we really giving you a street and raw conversation. The only thing you can be is commercial. Right. So mm -hmm. when you can have somebody on your show who's really outside in the streets, mm -hmm. who's not, who's really unapologetic to talk about what's really fuck's going on. Yeah. And we got niggas who feel some type of way when we talk about them because they put the shit out there public. Mm -hmm. Right. We only talk about what y'all put out publicly. And that's what I hope podcast Hands stands down. on. And so we might, we up? might get some tea about you. Right. Mm -hmm. But we know how to sit back and be like, it ain't nothing to talk about or it is something to talk about because we already know what you're coming with because mm -hmm. we already heard it from eight, ten, a bit, ten bitches, mm -hmm. probably eight, eight bitches and two niggas about you. Right. Mm -hmm. Hands down. That's just respectfully. Right. We mm -hmm. heard about you from eight bitches and two niggas. So it's like, we understand what you're coming with so we know how to handle you accordingly. But we'll talk about T on our show where two, we know that Louisville's a following ass crowd. Mm. We know Louisville's on following that crap. So these Period. last two weeks, I don't know if y'all been keeping up, but it's been like a baddie crazy. Explain to me, like it's the last been, four weeks. Like, yeah. So no. What I, is your understanding? Before we get to be honest, I, what is your understanding? I just found out there was two shows in this motherfucker. Like it was mm. two different. Yeah, it's two different groups. baddies in Louisville. Mm -hmm. But this is like okay. So my perspective on shop, baddies. Shop talk. It got me lit. I'm but, now but, the fucking gloves come off. But my, <laughs> like, damn. We need to take a commercial break real quick. No, we so. don't. All right, but uh, <laughs> yeah, got, you yeah we got a commercial we throw, and we probably do yeah. our sponsors this Sunday. We got a, we got a, we a got good a, sponsor coming up, and I can't wait to yeah, say y'all. We got a new announcement. A commercial break will be like really good. Damn. I can reroll up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> made that damn long. Man, what the fuck was I talking about? I mean, a little roll a joint. We were just talking about um, basically. We were just basically baddies, catching, baddies, catching baddies, baddies. Oh yeah the baddies yeah. is like So what is But did we summarize the last the subject the He's talking about how subject. I look at it So baddies is I Like my girls is not allowed to watch No baddies No no blue face None of that mm -hmm. Because it brings mm -hmm. The energy brings into the crowd So mm -hmm. what? So what's the The baddies show is A bunch of girls linking up mm -hmm. They not trying to feed the community They trying to fight Right mm -hmm. Right so this Louisville shit that's going on is like it's supposed to be like a show, but it's just niggas really linking up and like good content for mm -hmm. Facebook or some shit. So what's going on with that? So you wanna go first? You can go first. You can go first. Cause the girl with the wig that went viral is from my hometown Lebanon. So she <laughs> I'm from Lebanon. And she Lebanon, Kentucky. Yes, yeah, so where I'm from. But uh me with the baddies is it just gave a platform for people think like um, just because they fight and I'm gonna go viral. Mm -hmm. To me, they doing the dialogue the wrong way. Right. Mm -hmm. You have baddies who are really not baddies, and you have baddies. Right. That's who, true. You That's have facts. baddies. I don't know none of them hoes. Like I, I don't even. I, I don't know. I don't even know Jamie. Let's be real. I know Jamie. Who's Jamie? I only met Jamie. I don't know Jamie. Jamie is Jamie. like a Jamie's old, over Jamie was popping Maddie. when like Webby know. was there. I don't there. know who Jamie but is. She was. We that's only know like, Jamie through social media. Like Jamie's popping because of I think Savage. Like she was supposed to be Webby's baby dad, baby mama. But is she? No. Right. So we don't know Jamie. So. Uh, <laughs> 
So <laughs> I don't know who she. We don't know who she is really. We only know her through social media, so right. we don't know Jamie. Mm-hmm. Right. But the Louisville baddies to me, it just giving like you have all these girls who are really self conscious, mm-hmm. who don't have no look going for themselves. Nope. <laughs> they look like Babs. Look like next Friday. Babs look good. So I, I mean, like Babs. Babs. It's like Babs for next Friday with the long nails. <laughs> With the long nails, but Holly Berry, you can't break Holly. That's Holly Berry. But they still got them long ass nails. It's to me because they set a status. They set a standard when they released that first um, audition video. When it was drama, pop storm and bitches' faces and fighting and shit. It's gonna scare bad bitches. It just bad bitches like do bully. not want to like be around that. Like, it's giving like bully. Like it's so. Crazy. What's the di- so? It's so explain the t- the difference between the two. So, Cause I don't know. We don't even necessarily. We're tired of speaking on these people. We're tired of giving them our, right. sh- our sunshine. Yeah. But we're gonna we're gonna talk about it okay okay so um yeah i know um so okay so it's fa- the fable to louisville baddies right mm-hmm. and then we have the, the louisville. louisville baddies the louisville so we, let's, everybody let's, let's need to understand rico yes. chanel and Team chris us. wills oh, team us team us does chanel this thing they do which ones 502 baddies right Yes, with the and S, it, with, with the S. S. But okay. Jamie does the Louisville baddies. Louisville have baddies, an with the, and, and that's the one that went viral first. No, mm. five hundred two baddies went viral first. The five hundred two because baddies. Jamie was a part of the. No, I think the. I think I, so I, I stop. I think the feud is what made everything go viral. No, she the with, feud because she, started she with walked Louisville away. Baddies. So right, she so, started with Louisville baddies and they created five hundred two baddies. So mm-hmm. first the the, the little. The when they meet up the first time, the first got it cracking, yeah. Then the pictures got it cracking after that. So that's two different people. The pictures when the pictures went viral. No, it's the same group. Huh? The group picture? No, no. It's two different. Cause Jamie dropped something, and then the crew they have now. Yeah, that's how it went viral. Cause because the, they fall at the when they first got together. Then it was a picture of two different. It, it was a picture. The picture that went viral. Then y'all. <laughs> got the other one viral. <laughs> Which one was that? That was the picture one. Yes, that's the one when they was on the green screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's yeah. that's that's the five hundred two. Yeah, y'all got that cracking. Louisville baddies. That's y'all got that cracking like a motherfucker. Yeah. Got every hood for them girls. Yeah. But them but, girls, they not like I, they not baddies. They just fighters. Yeah. And to me, they just changed it to war zone. Mm-hmm. I just right. like I feel like put these bitches up in some motherfucking war zone gear and have you giving bitches some, like, some motherfucking glass, yeah. bitches some obstacles. motherfucking paintballs and some <laughs> obstacles and shit with the point on light. Then he run up the hill, jump off the hill, hang on to some monkey bars, slide across the room. For the bitches, like yeah. they just ain't patty some sorry. I feel like soon that nigga, whoever is trying to do this, I feel like soon that nigga get that Airbnb and they start to fight. Mm. Oh my god, mm. you understand? It's, <laughs> hey, 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 <laughs> They better you ain't get them up. They better have a hell of an insurance policy. You ain't getting the pocket back. You ain't getting the pocket back. That ain't coming Because back. when I did my show, nigga, and they start to fight, and they was throwing coasters nigga, okay. and shit. Let's talk about that. Let's talk so about that. you had the bitches before they had a BBL. Yes, I had them before. So, girl, so I, was, I was kicking it with this female. She It was like the the, the uh, models and yeah, something. Little so little you had your show walking people. for the roses. <laughs> I did. That's that was during my photography stage. That was my that was my photography I know. Shout out to Jazz. That's my girl. Girl. Jasmine, oh, oh, my yeah. she's so fucking gorgeous. Yeah, I love Jasmine. I don't have a baby you now. I tried to. <laughs> Shit. I, 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 swear uh, to God. I was kicking it with her one day and her boyfriend pulled up. Damn. <laughs> and he was like, let me get my PlayStation. Oh, so fancy. <laughs> <laughs> See, that'd be a problem. Yes. You be leaving <laughs> bitches and filling them up. That's my, I took out a date and everything, bro. We took tequila. We had a good time. That's my dog. Oh, my gosh. But, um, yeah, I had Lily, I had Diamond, I, I had Jasmine, that. I had <laughs> Michael, I had, I mean, I have the regular women that's part of the show, Michael, Tanya, <laughs> yeah, Natalia, yeah. you know, the regular ones, yeah. but I had the extras, which my extra girls was the social media girls, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because you got to know how to stir shit, right. you know what I'm saying? And I think that is where these, these new people who are doing the reality shows and stuff are going to be, is getting failed at, yeah. you know? Because my thing of it is, is when you do this shit, it has to be exclusive and people People can only catch you when you are outside. Yeah. They're promoted. They, they promoted too way too much. They went live during the I, photo shoot. You was, you went. It was before your time because I don't. Think I said the same thing. It was like 2017. Yeah, it was like, 2017. That was a 502 come up year. It was like 2017. Yeah. Like so that. people weren't doing all that on TV. No. It was out of your time. 
I was definitely well before my that's time. When but Taylor, that's when it, Taylor dropped and the 502 come up. That's the that's my bestest time in the city. Mm-hmm. And after that, when Taylor agree. went up. Yeah, the, everybody was trying to come up. <laughs> mm-hmm. I remember because I was supposed to go there. It was the, it was the roses and uh, what was it called? Walking for the roses. Walking for the roses. Yeah, yeah that was my show. Oh, rooftop. Yeah, I still got to drop episode. Did y'all do, I still got, huh? did y'all do mm-hmm. one at the zoo? Mm-hmm. Right, take Kino. Take Kino. Nah, I don't know no, what you're talking about. Jazz, was some other shit. Quit mixing it. Don't that's put jazz. on my shit. But <laughs> it was on the we, we got another. I got. Another, I got one more episode. I'm dropping, and then me, I'm best friend. Is let's go. Uh, we can drop it today. We can because drop it today. We yeah. only, I'm gonna say this. We got um, school. While we on receipt and paper, we only watch our podcast. Mm-hmm. We only yeah, watch our podcast. Damn, I watch our podcast. What the fuck? That's what we no, watch we, my podcast. No, what we said, we, we only uh, watch our podcast. Oh, that's the first I mean, it's y'all and Big and Lazy. Big and Lazy. That's the other podcast that I watch. I watch that too. But we only watch our podcast. I be at work listening. I got to turn y'all shit down because y'all. Shout out to Little Baddies. The Little Baddies is too thin. Jamie. I be at work listening to y'all shit. I be like, bitch. Yeah, but Jamie give us um, the MV alive. See you guys in three hey, weeks. Jamie. We just waiting on approval from Apple Music, so we'll be live from mm-hmm. Apple Music in three yes. weeks. Mm-hmm. So we just waiting for um, Apple to approve us because we are r- real and raw. So we have to understand Wait how to scale it, back like, with the mm-hmm. cussing and everything. So and that's they also trying to approve much. some type of cussing right now because they can say bitch on TV and everything now. So yeah. they're trying to approve other things for how our podcast is. So we will be on Apple Music um, podcast in three weeks. Mm-hmm. So you can listen to it mm-hmm. in your headphones. Okay, it's gonna be. That watches every single time, but uh, damn face plug us in. What we on? <laughs> oh, shit, we on uh, I Put the radio. camera on you, yeah. Uh, what's that? I forgot. Uh, Amazon Music, mm-hmm. I Heart Radio, that's right. That's Pod right. Bean. That's right. That's, but that's why, but that's why we fuck with y'all because in the day you see the bigger platform, of yes. the podcast stuff. Because yeah, you gotta take like it outside. You just city. gotta go live Facebook, yeah. 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 I do agree, and I that's agree. why and you're very unapologetic now, filter. Who's that? That's, I gotta the, that's the Charlemagne of the show. You're so really kind of, like I'm a Libra though. Like, <laughs> I gotta be like that. Like you really. Jamie said, "Louisville Baddies is coming up." Tell she's her, on. Tell, she, she's tell on the live. She, no, she's on the live. Tell her to jump over here. He got that oh, motherfucking jump. tin because you be doing all kind of sneaky shit. I can't see shit on that motherfucker. I thought it was dead. We love Jamie, Jamie, we need you to tune in on, on the. Oh, you got the tin on that motherfucker. Can I get a screenshot on it? On Javon's page. But you got the 10 on that mug. Yeah, I, I got it. Yeah, yeah. I Jamie, thought it was we dead. Love you. we love you, but at the end of the day, we the host of your show. We just. I'm not no hype man. <laughs> He's the hype man. No, oh. I'm not no hype man. Face, the dopest in the city. But Jamie, at the end of the day, we love Jamie. We would give her her roses. She's doing her thing, and um, she stepped out. She's being consistent how yeah. black people did her, and it was her first time probably dealing with that with black people. Yeah, it's cool, cool. Um, End of the day, but we only watch out. Cool, cool. So what's no, going, what no. we got? What we got going for the appreciate be, that the, uh, messy besties? What's going up? But close? we do have us a um, like we that. have a show coming out here in Louisville, Kentucky. We yeah. really do. We really, really do. Um, I've landed a deal with um, Roku, Amazon, um, <laughs> um, Amazon, everywhere, Tubi, Amazon Prime, TV, Amazon everywhere. Um, yeah. All this, all of, of my previous show. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so and y'all really gonna love this show. show. Yeah. Like my previous show, it <laughs> was like it was like like you said, it was a modeling competition. Oh, so you you going on Tubi with that? We're no, going no, no, on they, Tubi, they, no. Amazon. I'm pleased, um, I'm pleased I'm on my phone because really I can show everywhere. you where they they're specifically asked me. Yeah. Can you please send me all the yeah. your episodes cool. so we can get it aired oh, out. Okay. But, but can, I don't want to do that because I want to come like a professional, professional black man. That's what we going. This yeah, is yeah, my yeah. projects that I've done. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Now let me show you what I'm about to put out. Cool, cool. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and um, he's a real nigga bringing me on. And I, best you're a real nigga because yeah, you know, know like, you're not bringing no, my best like, friend on. Um, <laughs> and I'm like I said, I'm very humble. I don't like popping my shit. I want to be a part of everything. But like I tell best friend, like we really cannot be in everybody else's mix because. Because we're about to come through with our own, and at this point, they're begging me for it, oh, and so we're about so to. Y'all about to change it up? We about to change the yes. narrative of what Lova really want. Okay. Cool. We ain't about mm-hmm. to give you fighting. We ain't about to give mm-hmm. you who live in Park Hill. We ain't about to give mm-hmm. you the six girls who pad up in one car to go to our ditch and to pay twenty five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't about to give you that. No. Like we're gonna Shout give to the little baddies. You, like you want to drop the name? What the show name? The show name is going to go because our ditches are coming. On exclusive. What? Running right LA. LA. <laughs> oh, the vibe that was perfect. We got bombs in this motherfucker. We got the messy, messy shot top podcast. We got DJ Face vibing in this motherfucker building. 
Oh, we yeah. lit, man. Goddamn. That's a, that's a, that's a motherfucking um, a world premiere right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah. LA is basically running your Louisville like area. Yeah. Well, we know you're going to get our support for the Trap yeah. Talk podcast, yes, man. Yes, I'm yes, sorry. Yes, I'm yes, sorry. Yes, AJ, AJ's right here. You got on the green screen? Yeah. <laughs> Can we edit AJ in here? Girl, right we heard here. about you bike scripts. <laughs> <laughs> we like to call her. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Like call her. Yeah. Yeah. That good. Hold on to your love. I might text the group talking about my She said that. She said she had that, but I didn't believe her. Mm-hmm. She got it. I'm going to I'm gonna have to catch her. I'm going to have to catch AJ slipping on a joint night. But y'all heard it. The He's been trying that for years. Oh. Yes, we're trying to show it. I'm going to get it, face. What I'm going to get it. Question, what do y'all get when we say running L.A.? What do y'all get from that? Um, y'all going somewhere in L.A.? Okay, okay. But it's running L.A. Wait, 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 wait. We want his, we wait on his response. We wait on his response. We running in L.A. Running LA, either that or LA Fitness or some shit. Oh, <laughs> LA it's Fitness, <laughs> but it fucks you up because it's gonna hit. Yes, it's gonna hit so hard. So, so basically, then, it's gonna be running the Louisville, Louisville area. area. Okay. Explosions, yes, motherfucker. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Running Louisville area, LA, nigga. Yes. LA. So the thing of it is, is it's like I don't know the real word. Is it, is it a double entendre or is it a, a, a hypochondry I mean, or something? That's dope. I don't know the word. So what it is, is is we're gaining the the viewers of everywhere. Right. But where it's an emphasis of our own city in Louisville. So it's running the Louisville area. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So that is gonna it's just outside of Louisville alone, it's right. gonna give us an outsource of of everything. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So if you in LA, you might be like, what part is this? It still look like uh Venice Beach. So, it what, still are, look so like, what are y'all gonna talk about? Like more. But well, running LA is gonna give you the feel of we're gonna reach out to your entrepreneurs. Yes. You know I mean? We're, we're turning we're, everybody we're on. We're gonna reach out to your real sugar mamas, your mm-hmm. real sugar daddies. Yep. The people yes. who's really running a little yes. over air, who's yes. putting these girls on, who's putting these <laughs> yes. niggas on. Who, who these have bitches is watching and liking on Who own the whole can't run of daycares type yeah. shit. Yeah. Okay. Like we're gonna put you like, on to who's really, it's gonna give you Louisville Housewives, Becca, Basketball Wives, Married to Medicine. It's gonna yes. give you that, or it's gonna give you all of that. Loving, who's really running the Louisville area okay. in a commercial way. Oh, okay, okay. So we're gonna have season after season. It's not gonna give you, I'm fighting. I'm fighting something. Everybody, everybody and all of this. No, it's not. Like, it's hot we're right gonna now. be, we're gonna be in these people's homes but when, when they wake get, up with When you get kids. bitches drunk, when you get bitches drunk, I did this before. When you get one big yeah. man and you get yeah. bitches drunk for three yeah. days straight. It, it's some it's some beef gonna go down, nah, well, y'all got or they're gonna fill each other out, and then when we start filming, that's when the real problem. Like, I don't like that bitch Janisha, cause that bitch said at the house, uh, this is and they like what? So then I heard that on the camera, so now I go team you bitches up. You know, you got to know how to do it properly. Besides going live, and whenever somebody got beef, now y'all y'all personally going live on your own personal pages and talking about the beef, right. and everybody know the beef. So now we looking right. for the episodes. That's what's, that's what's kind of a local TV show these days, huh? You can't have but that. But it's just a local TV show. But that. we trying to reach outside of local too. Not our bitches. But we did drop it on only the time you would see yeah. because your niggas is on what we on the YouTube. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. just a bigger picture of mm-hmm. where we trying to go with the podcast. So we wanted to especially drop our show on y'all show. Straight mm-hmm. up. Straight yeah, some real niggas. Straight up, straight up. Yeah. No way. And y'all fuck with y'all, but please audition. Yes, please they fucking with our, 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 our vocal <laughs> premiere. We did a vocal premiere on our podcast, y'all. But y'all did that. We'll be Better dropping that in that. two weeks in February. Yes. Whatever. Um, just no ladies and gentlemen. We, we are doing be online. Four, but four to, um, three to four guys, but um, we will be picking for women especially. A lot of Because us. there's a lot of men in the city, too, who's mm-hmm. also putting the work in commercially, too. Okay, cool. And it's men y'all actually really respect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's giving them a platform where to we in their homes, that way we waking up with our kids. Like, yes, that's the, that's like, the main really thing. Giving you, you like, cannot, a but you better have your own shit. You have a Because we got to have, have, you have a scheduled uh, day. You have scheduled days that the camera crews will mm-hmm. wake on your front door, bitch. Mm-hmm. We here. Uh, time it's time to film. It's her. time to wake up. You got to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a trying. We are right. doing it. Oh, my bad. Okay. My bad. My I'm a, bad, my I'm bad. a, I'm a manifester. Right. No, I'm a manifester. So like I, I, I manifest on things and to flourish things out of my tongue. And we know? only got girls who y'all would never think would do something who's doing it. Damn. That's and that would be the girls, but it's going to be the girls. It's the girls. They're going to be like, like how, how the fuck, fuck did they get this? This bitch already come outside. Hey. Best friend, they're going to be like, they're going to be like, they're going to be like, the niggas for y'all, y'all going to be like, nigga, I should have signed up. 
I should have did it. But we just gonna That's do it the up. right way. Where to? Mm. We gonna have to no choice but send on next, but also send on bits but send on next mm. to put like be humble enough to put Louisville on to a yes. map like to That's where the reality up. really is. Not everybody watch for reality a bad. all day yeah. long, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause like, we gotta we learn your, your first long. season, best friend. What happened? What profit do you make? Nothing. Nothing. But we ain't gonna give him the game. We not we gonna make nothing. <laughs> give him the game. Yeah, they, you think? Give him all the you game. think Roly made it a couple dollars? No, she no. Roly. Then when she came back for that second season, everybody got she made fifty cents. But right. Rolling get her light bulb to the fourth season. She did Chance of Love three yeah. times. They came to the baddie three seasons. They get a light bulb. Oh, you after right. Six you years. right. That's when they start making money. So she did do. She I don't know what shows they talking about, but like Rolly did up, put put up, put her work in. No, Rolly was on the the real and Chance brother. She was Zeus, on the show on two, Zeus. Two, two, Zeus. She, the she, big girl. She I been thought on he Zeus. died. The bro, no, oldest no, brother the, did. The skinny one. The oldest brother did. Damn. The skinny hair one died. Damn. The skinny hair, the, the one with the but skinny one. But now Chance is doing it with his youngest brother. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And okay. she now, she put two years in with them? And she I got a BBL. Her and, and her, the 10, number 10. So it was their second year. Cause that's her and Slim. Two. They did their number 10. Then she turned around and went to Baddie. Damn, so she did. She put work in. She put work in. She was a slave. Like, because the she was a slave. Yeah, a lot of people cheap. don't know you got to sacrifice. And she got her children. teeth and lipo done. Right. That Damn. shit ain't cheap. She paid a couple dollars for her little teeth. I know, I, know, I, know her, I know old dude who, do, who did her teeth. He did real good. Well, yeah. damn. Well, shit. But that's what we dropping pretty soon. I want everybody to support it. Um, if you feel like you're a man or a woman and you feel like you have the avenues and you have the flowers and you have the opportunities to join this show, mm-hmm. join this show. Because you already know how I'm coming. I'm always treat my girls, even in my surroundings, high class, clean cut, respectfully. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And best friends coming with the extra spice on top cool. at the end of the day. So you already know how we come in with the Run in LA. It's called Run LA, the Louisville area. It's a show that's going to be dropping pretty soon. Mm. Audition will be dropping in two weeks. Mm-hmm. It will be online auditions. We will do an online audition. Online okay. audition. Because we learned that some day, people are afraid we're of smart. being intimidated. We're yeah. going to see what your numbers is like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah that's right. what we it's all about. We don't be boo-boo the fool and just accept because who just came to the Because you went and paid for your hips and yeah, teeth that's and That's the problem with Louisville shows. <laughs> <laughs> because you went having hundreds to come to the auditions. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. 5 or 10 came, everybody made it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, type shit. Mm-hmm. No, we ain't doing mm-hmm. that. We're going to give you what Lou has been waiting on because it should be no way. I have to say this because we watch That's Now TV a mm-hmm. lot. We do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, um, there's an 18 year old on there who's making a meal. Of hey, bussing. Only 18. He like, already came receipt. out with over receipt. six shows. Damn. 18. I'm Eight. trying to figure out, can I come down there and Ain't even 21 <laughs> yet. <laughs> Ain't even 21 yet. So it just makes you think like, anyway, what is he doing what we ain't doing? Five. But he really is just basically being real and raw and uncut, showing yeah. the vulnerable side of a human black being at the end of the day. And, we, and we're and we respectful enough to go on national TV to give it to you, nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's mm-hmm. like, end of the day, I'm letting you into my personal life because the shit people go through on really on TV, people really go through that perfect. Yeah, I think it's the way. It's the way. It's the way it's mm-hmm. going. And y'all gonna be the first to do it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And I wish y'all the best luck in anything yeah. y'all no, need Actually, I was the first to do it myself. Well, yeah, but you really was. Like, so I was walking the roses. Yeah. I thought about this. I was Because I be wanting to know, know that. Oh, God. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna stand on that. I swear to God. Oh, God. I was gonna drop that tag on you. And, bitch, if I don't win no award from the KY Elite Awards for the visual. Shoot that bitch off. No, I'm just playing. But no, I'm just playing. I can't the year this year. Who? I don't know. Because Trap Talk didn't win. Trap Talk didn't win. It was 502 Podcast, the one to get all the rappers. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, we're shady. I, I, we're messy besties. Like, we just throw, we put it, we throw it out there real quick. I'm sorry. Who's, Shit. Who's, who, who's, I ain't gonna do it there. They probably watch it. Shout, shout out to everybody, man. What you mean they watching? Everybody's who, watching. Who's, who, 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 who does the 502 who Betty? Who did win? 50, I said 502 Betty. Who's the 502 show? What's their name? Who's the, who's the, the 502, 502 Podcast? Uh, I don't know. I thought that, is that the I one that has Diva. Um, Don Diva? She hosts. Yeah, Don. It's only the host. You know, oh, Don, the D- host, Don Vito, the hype man, Don Vito, the hype woman. She be the hype woman. Yeah, that's the only thing I know about. Cause and then my friend Ashley Marshall, um, Lady Red, she does music, um, and I go and support her. 
at the okay. when at those well, shout out to the podcast. We the two hottest podcasts in the city. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Nobody say. I swear to God. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Uh, niggas if we be- out here getting look, if we out here getting snuck, we the hottest podcast. I'm ready to do a club. That's the real nigga shit. Right there. The real shit. Yo 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 yo. If you've been tuned in, man, you've been tuning in the Trap Talk podcast. Make mm-hmm. sure you go over to the Facebook page, follow and like the page. Leave us a comment and leave us some questions that we can ask the guests. Make sure y'all do that soon as possible then go over to facebook i mean youtube go like subscribe please go to youtube all, y'all go all black room, notification man. bell man make sure you hit that bell so every content we drop it hits your motherfucking phone as soon as we drop it all right we got the messy bessies, messy besties in here let them know where they can find y'all at man y'all can definitely find us on um youtube you can find us on facebook you can find us on instagram all on un- messy besties okay we do open up our floors for um guests and all of that so and if you have anything that you're scared to talk about to us write us on a fake page we'll still talk about it mm-hmm. you know no, for real <laughs> some we will scared. be going live tomorrow at 9 p.m yes that is our original days on tuesday we out tomorrow can we pull up yeah. on a messy Ooh. best podcast Ooh. Ooh. i ain't gonna talk i don't know y'all said like you might, shake up. You might get scared you, you God, yeah, we, we come over here we come Because over at the end of the day Y'all still up. never answered my question Why y'all feel like That our podcast wasn't a real podcast When y'all was oh, talking on that I did not man, let that go man, as, hey, as hey, I, 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 I let tell you go. why I tell you why I was I, talking I'm shit a, since, Okay since, since people We keeping it real Yeah let's Please Thank when you When I first started When I first started in the game It was all about For me It was about production You feel me Okay And it was like mm-hmm. Man If you gonna come If you gonna be a podcast Come hard It's mm-hmm. a production You feel me What's, what do you mean by that? But like, just, just not going, just not, you know, tagging the phone up, just actually really putting the work in, mm-hmm. putting the money in behind, mm-hmm. just go ahead and do it all the way through. Mm-hmm. That's how I felt. That's why I said, that's why I started doing it, because I feel like I didn't see nobody really doing it mm-hmm. in that manner in the city. And I want, you know, I'm always trying to be a trendsetter at, at anything I and do. At so. all costs. Mm-hmm. So it, it wasn't nothing. It really wasn't nothing personal. It was just like, man, if you're going to be a podcast, you got to come podcast style. style. And I I'm agree. like, I, I, I agree. So that, that's I how it agree. was. But, but you can't argue with numbers. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what you own. You could be on the GoPro. You, hey, you not can't argue with numbers, and the content is what matters. You can be, you know, this motherfucker still look like they on flip phones. You, you but you know, and oh, uh, he just tried to, no, nah, he just he just tried to clear. Up. He said his motherfucker like we on flip. Phones. Not not y'all, not y'all, not y'all. No, he's I'm tired. Like her be looking yeah, like, like they on flip phones. Yeah, yeah, live. Some lives be like, damn, wipe your screen off. You don't see it. But no, nah, for real. It's like, but I appreciate and I respect that. that too, and I respect that for y'all but because. We did we, we did stuff with the mics and everything, but but we seen. But you know what? After I after I did some digging, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and I realized I was like, oh shit, because I didn't know. I knew I had seen you do that shit a long time ago, mm-hmm. but I didn't know it was like, damn, I didn't know it was, like you was still on it. Mm-hmm. But when mm-hmm. I found out y'all, I was like, shit, they killing the game. Mm-hmm. And it was uh, y'all and who else? Uh, uh, after I dropped that, after we dropped that, uh, what's that called? Uh, the Bubba Dub interview. Shout out to our manager. S- <laughs> who's that? Damn. We ain't dropping no name. We, we, <laughs> drop, <laughs> we ain't dropping no name. We, we dropped that Bubba Dub interview, and and then that's when it seemed like a lot of people really kind of started reaching out. Like, mm-hmm. okay, what's up, y'all? What y'all doing? Let's link up. Uh, shout out to uh, Big and Lazy. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, we supposed to link we'll up with them and do some soon. shit, too. We'll be over there pretty soon. So, uh, yeah, we'll definitely be over there. I, I, I'm, I'm just like trying to keep it all. I'm just trying like. to keep it. Like, we, we, we all in the city. Mm-hmm. And we and we ain't got it going like Atlanta. We need to do like a big show and you. people we come for a live really class, a, a live show. thing, like y'all. A whole little show Hell with, yeah. Without a podcast? No, my dream, my, best friend know this, my dream what? is really to have a podcast mm. or a platform where all black men is talking and women mm. are really listening. Yes, that's Because uh, I love, not even, uh, because our women, yes, we we allow the women to take over music. Yeah. We allow the women to be the that's sugar because mama they, right now. That's because. We allow them yeah. to be that. We know. Mm. Know as men the power that we really got. Yeah. Because and if you if you a real nigga and you a real man, yeah. I really don't have to pay you or take you on a shopping spree. I can talk to you mentally, like I've been talking to you last four weeks, and still get pussy from you, and still feel like the king as a, a nigga who ain't paying you nothing. Yeah. Because I know where you are mentally as a woman, right. and a woman, a woman will always. They can be like, I make the biggest money in the room. Uh, yes, I'm this, this, and that. But a woman can never compare the masculinity to a man. Right. Yes, you a single woman. 
one with no fucking baby f- with no father around you yes i get it you had no choice but to sacrifice but also you don't really don't know masculinity the way you know masculinity yeah and i understand the baby trauma the baby daddy i heard a podcast say some shit like uh it was on like a short i was watching mm-hmm. and it said some shit like man would rather be respected than loved yes yes Think about you being the oldest brother in the whole family ship. If you're the oldest brother, you're the most respected but the least loved. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I'm the oldest child. Like, like, you the oldest like, child. If you the you oldest child, that you got to live up to. If you the oldest on, but, child but, within on. your siblings, yeah. you the most respected but the least loved. And then they said women, mm-hmm. women rather be safe than in love. Yes. What you yes, mean, bitch, like? Bitch, yeah. Yes. Like, what you mean, safe? On, I wish I could give, on, you, I wish I could give you a fat back her. <laughs> yes, <trap. laughs> yeah, that's that's that was real, a good one. Because a woman all day. Shit. If I feel safe, bitch. I'm gonna give you the key and the open key. up. I'm gonna what help you. What you mean by safe, like? That, that finance, right. Secur- no, security. Finances, finance security. My home is safe. My home, I don't yeah. got to worry about you. No motherfucker know my address. Yes. I don't got to worry about you fucking with a slave yes, bitch yes. who's going to expose yes. you yes. type yeah. ordeal. Yeah. I'm dealing with a man who's still going to respect my home at the end of the day because a man would, they would never know what's Let's going on in my home. I don't give a fuck it. what they ain't got going on the street. But at the end of the day, yeah. I know what I got at home because me and this nigga had a whole conversation before he walked out their door. Yeah. Type shit. Mm. Women look for that type. Of, like security Can y'all say me a good woman like that god damn no, that's on you no that's on you you just gotta be you genuine niggas, niggas, people y'all be, be afraid to y'all be, be leading genuine. and then be fucked up because y'all mm-hmm. leading and y'all be like damn i finally got me a vulnerable bitch but no damn she was what was the question what was that question because he i wanted to piggyback off of what you were saying what was the question i uh, mean what would you say what was uh, the question uh, uh shit it was a man, a man was, well, a man rather be respected. All I said was a man rather yeah, yeah. be respected and love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what they like. You know, at the end of the day, it's like it's so so true because at the end of the day, if like when people say they want to ride or die, to me that's what what you're asking for is being respected, a ride or die. A ride or die. being Respectful. respected. You want my so lords, you go you my, 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 my flaws. You want, you want my goods. You want my guts everything. and glory. You, you know, know what I'm saying? You, you, you want, want my everything. Back when I'm wrong, right? And yeah. you know I'm wrong. But like, right. You did something wrong. No, he was still at home. Sure. Yeah. Huh. 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 That's what I'm talking about. Not for real, no. And that's what they be looking for. And then it's hard to find that because do you want to open up to a snitch? Because Wolf was so filled up with snitches. If I'm a heavy drug dealer or something like that, like who can you really open up to? Nobody. Everybody gets. But people get. But people get confused with being a, having a transaction within personal. That's where they get caught up in within that whole ordeal. Mm. Mm. But, but people like it. I feel like we like in an era where motherfuckers just like exposed motherfuckers. I don't think they're exposed. I think the the point they just fed up. I think at this point they just like bitch, you not ready to lie about who you is, and we ready to let everybody know who you are while you out here. Yeah. Cause really niggas is out here but really I trying to flaunt. Shit, they trying to front and act like they got. I can come with some shit. What's, what's I can mean? come with some foundation shit. Motherfuckers won't have what they got today. <laughs> Yeah, and motherfuckers will look at a motherfucker totally different. But uh-huh. I'm just so like I'm humble, but I'm not as humble like I was in 2023 and 2022, 2023. Fact. Like, that's, like, that's, that's my thing. That's my nah, thing. Let's too. talk about like, that shit. Talk, we can talk about a lot. Fake chains and niggas oh out here. God, let's is, talk about a best friend. We can talk about fake chains. We can talk about niggas out here raping bitches. We can talk about a lot of shit. Damn. And this is real tea. This is real tea. Oh my god. But nightlife. We're the not doing life. this. We're the not doing this. The niggas who the bitches go to every day. I'm tuning so. out. <laughs> Look, he took his headphones down. <laughs> <laughs> but we ain't dropping no names. We ain't dropping no names. It's just a fact like... We really can't expose some shit, but we really be... Smart. We really get we all the fucking tea. It is a lot of work. So what did y'all hear about? Um, What did you... Hear about what? what who who, who suggested the, the the fake jury comment? Who said that? Face. Okay, we face. Heard it so times. what happened? What, what what you hear about it? You, we're, we're, I mean, we're I did, who's jury's face? I just face? be seeing it. I ain't dropping. Nah, no, who's jury's face? I ain't dropping on that. Can we get the first we letter? We got of the some picture. We got a picture mm. of some motherfucking Alpha talk about mm. fake chains around motherfucker. Mm. Then we and got and the then we got receipts of a girl trying to pawn her nigga shit, but the pawn shop said the shit was fake. They said. <laughs> that bitch said, please return to sender. Please That's return that. to sender. I swear to God, that motherfucker said, she said, she said, and what, what was it, Jada Pond? He said, this right here. She said, what was it? What was it? What, what was it? <laughs> was but it a yes. rapper? Was it a so, rapper? No. Was it a rapper? It a He's not a jeweler. He's a um, 
this stylist. A stylist. Uh, he's a jeweler. It's he's a jeweler. <laughs> it was your old little aura, OD. Wait, so uh, my, does it pass if your name? It's don't your know? aura ordeal. They got the but they got the new so, jewelry now where you get it wet though. Yeah, yeah that's what I was gonna say. It's but pass is it still real? So my thing of it is, is where is um face. Where, what was your, what, what, what do you, just, what is your question? That's what I'm trying face. to figure out. What is your question? No, it, it ain't a question, really wasn't a question. It was just but, like, y'all was talking about something. And I we said, never said nothing about no, fake, fake jewelry. Y'all said it was DJ jewelry. wearing fake jewelry. Y'all said a DJ wearing fake jewelry. No, we didn't. No, did. did. no, 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 nobody said that. We heard face say fake chains. Nobody said that. They said let's talk about fake chains. Oh, hype man or promoter wearing fake jewelry. No, all of them. That supports that brand? That support gets us from the same chain. The same brand. Your, don't, your little aura, little ordeal. <laughs> your aura, the ordeal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the Messy Bessie Podcast. <laughs> the I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. He be, he be lit, y'all. But they be heated about the fake jewelry. They be yeah. really heated about the fake jewelry. But it is a lot. And but my thing is, 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 how many jewelers is it? Comes okay, wait, 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 work. How many jewelers is it? So we, there's Kurt. Uh, there's no. um, Nate, the jeweler. No, Nate's not a jeweler. He's not a jeweler? He is he's AGC. He's he a, is a jeweler. I thought he was what is he a jewelry consultant? I thought he'd go through somebody to go to somebody But he's this. making it. No, but if I don't give a fuck. If he's making it, he made his own business, bitch. He got his own business, bitch. So yeah, that's Nate's work. A it's, he's a jeweler. Right? So he's a jeweler. Nate. Cause I know a few people who got their pieces from him. I want a piece from him. You I guess somebody piece. was hating on him when they sent me some messages or something. What they had on them say? They they go through and he's a middleman, like a no. Oh, so it's like he's a he's a he's the Instacart, he's a DoorDash. Type shit. The one get you to where you need to get to the get you. Okay, okay. So basically, so they're not his diamonds; they're somebody else's diamonds. Type shit. I saw somebody. Okay, you, I saw a chain he did on somebody else's page. Type shit. I don't have to be messy. Is it really fake? I don't know, but my thing of it, but my thing of it is, is if if okay, so back in the day, it's gonna be real, it's gonna be real as a fake. But my thing back in the day, I saw like a chain that was made, but saw it on somebody else's neck, but they didn't finish what? financing their chain. <laughs> <laughs> That would be another thing to you niggas. <laughs> but my thing, but my thing of it is, is, is my thing of it is, is though, if I'm not financing my chain, bitch, I don't need no promos walking in the street. <laughs> what you mean, bitch? I'm supposed to be the first bitch to ice my chain, uh, ice my name on my neck. You know, I ain't so many niggas icy in love. Of. I don't know, I don't know who did it, but I'm just saying like it happened. I saw it before. I, I ain't seen no real, real like. I be seeing. I niggas. see. Yeah, I, actually, I have. Niggas be icy now, but I'll mm. be like, why everybody in y'all crew icy? Are they icy or they just shine? But my thing of it is, is why does like my thing with it is what is so big? With, That's like, my thing. Are they icy? What the thing is real? Everything really have to be so shiny. real. Why can't motherfuckers wear costume jewelry? Costume jewelry's been around. But for say, years. but don't say it's real jewelry when it ain't real. Okay. Jewelry. I don't, think people, shiny, I don't think people. I don't think people wear they shit like, oh, I'm trying to be Back the real day when I was little. younger, I used to go to the uh, uh, Chinese store. And get yes. The oh, but niggas is yes. icy than a motherfucker. Yes. Niggas is I like diamonds. They're bitch, shiny. I had a SpongeBob. Bitch, I had all the <laughs> earrings. The yeah. diamond, sp the diamond SpongeBob but, earrings. Ooh, that'd be consider, fucked up. But you consider that as accessories. But I consider yeah. that as just. I'm a passion into it, so it's yeah, just really so going it's a, it's with going with accessories for you. Yeah. Other than yeah. you need that chain to make you feel good yes. when you wake up yes. in the morning, because yes. these niggas will wake up every morning, put that chain on, and smoke a black, and then you brush their teeth. Yeah. Yes, and then you gonna and then you gonna wear your chain with a hoodie. Bitch, you yeah. got to put your your chain You're outside stupid. your hoodie, You're looking stupid. a goddamn fool. Stupid. I was wondering. Your main your main right thing is right back to the chain. I see. Nigga, you ain't icy What'd you say, Faith? I always wonder how you supposed to wear that shit. In a hoodie. Yeah, I done seen a nigga. My, I done seen a nigga put it around the around the brim of they the, uh, right here around this. Nah, part. I ain't doing that. <laughs> it ain't that serious. It is not that serious to rock your chain. I promise you, it's not that serious. It can stay tucked in. Yes, yeah. Yes. See, that's how you know old money from new money. <laughs> It's old money. Yeah, y'all pay attention. Listen, when y'all go on Instagram, when they have the diamond races, the diamond watches on, yeah. this one sleeve will be raised so far up that you're going to see, and they be like, <laughs> they be moving it. You be like, you want me to see that one thing you got on? <laughs> you got a fifty dollar outfit on, mm -hmm. but you got your one little bust down on, so you got to do your whole video like it to feel, to feel, mm -hmm. to feel um, validated. That ain't my style. Where an OG nigga. Yeah. 
nigga, it's what's wrong with, but I mean, black people, I can't even say what's wrong with black people because black people, that has been installed in us as from, as from our ancestors. We wear gold to prove royalty. When yeah. you see someone with gold, yeah. you see royalty. It does not matter. Back in the day, the kings and pharaohs wore gold okay, head Okay, now I understand where you're coming king, from yes, from the last part. King, I understand. Yes, yes. I understand. They have king head yes. plates and stuff but, like that. So yeah. when, when, when black people or white people see a man that has gold and diamond, that's why black people wear big chains. We don't do so chains. It's more of a curse. You're, it's not a curse. It's just that it's you're stating your so because my thing is the girl will go to the nigga with the big chain instead of the guy with the sparries. Yeah, I'm saying the guy with the sparries. Nah, not my bitches. They want nah. bitches with the sparries and the Rolexes and some khaki shorts. Yeah. But it's still, but he's not advertising. I yeah. got this big ass Rolex on. Mm. The ro the blazer or the jacket still covering the watch. You know what I'm saying mm. you don't get to see the bl the Rolex until he gives the the bartender the, the call. Money. The right, money, right, you know what I'm saying? right. The niggas right. who come in with the chains and the mm. watches, they f they feel like they need it to be validated. Yes. Where do they need girls to run up on them? And then I explain yeah, it to my like, bitches. Why do y'all want to fuck with the niggas with all of that? He driving around with a nine of nine hundred dollar car that got a nine hundred dollar car note mm -hmm. he got a he got a mortgage mm -hmm. he got a jury payment he got to probably pay down on mm -hmm. bitch he ain't got not a 50 cent or a hundred dollars to give to you mm -hmm. now he's gonna flex when he got the little extra little couple dollars to pay on so what y'all be telling y'all bitches to get to the 95 niggas no, I I, I, mean, I, mean, I was saying nine to five, but you have to prove that you're really working. On yeah, like not proving that you're nine to five, but is your nine to five really Hold on, niggas lie about working their job. I got a good job. <laughs> I, I make top dollar at my job, so. Nigga, you want a plantation, dress me. AJ, tell us all about it. What AJ say? AJ's at four too. So we know. Oh, yeah, AJ. You know AJ's at four. I've been at four. I've been at four longer than AJ, so I don't work. Dang, how long you been there? You've been a slave for 15 years? 10 years. Eyes have been working. I don't do shit, but I, I was a slave. In Eyes have been working for the master. But nah, 10 years, I, I got an easy job. Like, nah, I ain't gonna flex. I like I've been going a, to work. I've been a dental hygienist. I've been in the dental field for 10 years, so I can't say I've been working for my master. Yeah. So <laughs> damn, don't have say a like that. It is a massa. It's a massa. Don't make us feel bad because we work a job. No, that is <laughs> no, that is, a, that is a that is a that people need to understand that that is a modern day slave. Slavery damn, is still here. Real? Yes, yes. No, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, let me break it down real quick. Modern day. Slave. Ooh, I, I, I wish. Look at this like is a good you know video. your power that you really can do. Yes. To get where you really want to make something okay. financially, but mm -hmm. you know because where you at in this moment in this city, you know what it has to take mm -hmm. for you to invest into what you're trying to put onto the map. Trying, yeah, I ain't trying. Yeah, like it's just trying. too. Much, like, yeah, I, I get tired. Yeah, Clocking it's just in. like, like I can be a dope ass photographer, but I just yeah. don't got the time to sacrifice like I did back in the day. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? Yeah. It's just like we've been it's we've been trained for it for our whole entire so life. Think about net. it. So yeah. when you go in elementary school, when we in elementary school, we go back to elementary. Elementary, you've been taught to walk on the right hand side of the school, right. which we when you learn how to drive when you get older, everything's on the right hand side, everything's on the left hand side. Right. When you get and then you learn that it's a front line, it's a back line, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You I'm also there. take the time of yeah. the other day. Think about it. You take eight hours out of your day to go to school. Right. You get out of school, you got a few hours, and then you gotta go to sleep because they teach you you need eight more hours of sleep. Mm -hmm. Where do you really have time to self-inflict on yourself if you're doing that for eight hours? Then you do that elementary, middle, high. You get outside of school, and then you start working a job for eight hours. Then you got to still make sure you get your eight hours of sleep. So this is the systematic lifestyle that they have us, on, like, right. they have us, like, yeah, getting up that's, right. that's what they really have us yeah. tuned into. So I'm, like, that's why I praise people who are in entrepreneurship yeah. and things of that day stuff because you really can get in tune who you really, who, who you really are. But if I didn't have that job, I wouldn't be able to buy my camera. Right. I do agree. Right. I do agree. So we do have yeah. to tap into our slave mentality. We have to. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. Yes. I did. Because when we get yes. it, we it abuse it. Because in the day when we get them nine to fives and we know it, we're really making money. Right? We've been mm -hmm. here for the last ten years, oh, we and we've seen the benefits it. that it did for the mm -hmm. love and harboring that we really want to do for ourselves. Yeah. We really had to tap and be like, I really need to be like, kind of scale. It's a little different. Yeah. Because I'm doing too much spending right here, but I really can put this spending into my camera. Because I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all with the Ford shit going on right now. Now. So mm -hmm. basically, for we just signed a new contract, right? Mm -hmm. so, I wish I worked there for. I could take strike for two weeks and still get know, paid. Sure, for look, was M motherfucker was outside. You was outside uh, for three or four uh, hours, uh, but still give you an eight-hour paycheck. But, but let me, me tell you the fucked up thing. I'm about to my sign. <laughs> but let me tell you the fucked up thing about working at Ford. Okay, I've been working there for ten years. Yeah, I've been working there for ten years. Mm -hmm. I make thirty-six dollars an hour. 
Mm-hmm. So with the new contract, you make more than the teachers. <laughs> yeah, I make more than teachers. You make more than teachers. But, but, Bitches, y'all heard You make more than uh, the drug singles. dealers. This is Mingle, Christian Mingle. <laughs> y'all, he got a good job. Hold on, y'all. I do got Hold a good job. Hold on for the ladies. Y'all for the ladies. He got a good oh, job. Everybody don't put that on me. I got a good job, bitches. He got a good job. He got money. <laughs> he got money. And I got good insurance. But okay. uh, I make $36 you an hour. You union. Yeah, the union. He's part of the union. They going to save but, your ass. But. You stomp your toe, they going to save you. <laughs> type shit. You know. But. But I've been there for 10 years. My leg was broken, arm was broken for how many years? That bitch came to work on a scooter, bitch, school. one knee. <laughs> <laughs> but AJ, you talking about AJ. But, uh, we ain't trying to drop no names, but damn. AJ, you know who we're talking about. I've been there for 10 motherfucking That's how bad years. I've been there for That's 10 bad. years. And for a motherfucker that been working there for four years to make the same as me is ridiculous. They probably have more credentials than you, you know, starters. That with the new contract, everybody talk that. No, nah, with the new contract, everybody ain't no ain't no tears. It's no basically more. a strike within the strike. Nigga, we didn't get, and I didn't get shit. So if right, what did y'all even go out there and do? What's y'all energy? Good, they, they did. walked around a whole. Bro, I work. I work at LAP. This, so these niggas even fed them lunch. <laughs> no, LMAP. I work at CFB. LAP. So we like we like the side chick. Them niggas even no. fed y'all lunch. Y'all L- no, LAP's the side chick. So we had to work. <laughs> LAP's the side chick. So we had to work. So niggas who've been there, who've been on the plantation for the last ten years, who've been cocky, make the same as a nigga that just walked in. That's great. And they outside holding up signs. For four hours to get still paid for and eight. We, and we make the same as a motherfucker that, that just a, walked that in. That's wild. bullshit. That is bullshit. I should be making fifty dollars an hour right now, but mm-hmm. hey, that's Louisville. But I, I got a good job. I ain't Louisville complaining. Louisville the non-commonwealth state. Like I get yeah, it. Yeah, shit's crazy. Like y'all got job, free juice. Man. You gotta have a good job. They did feed y'all. If you gonna work. They so. felt AJ. AJ was in Wins on Strike. Y'all got crackers and everything. Y'all gotta go to Messy Bessie, bro. We got wings and shit. <laughs> oh, we got we got we got seafood and shit tomorrow. Right, we got we be having uh sponsors that love to promote their stuff on our stuff. Oh shit, I'm just gonna come through, get a plate and no bad dip. Got come through. They said I know I, she said I love them. one of my viewers said they love about it, but they love working at Ford. Her name is Kiki. You know Kiki. Such thing around. She probably at KTT, like, bro. I want Kiki. me a good. You know. Ah, Kiki. When she start working there? Kiki is at Oral. She said, "Ask my fit." She said, "Ask my fit." Yeah, that's me, baby. That's me, baby. For hey, what's up? Double up. Uh, we probably get our bonus in a couple months, four more, six more weeks. What's up? I'm trying to go to Vegas. Y'all going in that love with some friends store? Oh my god! I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. That is my generation of music, bro. We gotta go, best friend. Like please. that's Derby weekend. You know, ain't nothing gonna be cracking in this motherfucker. Why not leave? My mind says I'd rather go outside or I'd rather go. Back. What what's, what they might have for a derby? Like okay, I'm a, okay. the same as I know um, getting, Millionaires Row. I know it's getting late. Same as Millionaires Row. So like, well, how y'all feel about the party scene and concert scene this year going up? And I know it's getting late. Ain't we got to rip it, it up. Ain't nothing happening yet, but I would say watch out for Tay. Tay and the mix is having holding it down. I would say you about Tay. He's pulling the most relevant bitch and relevant people. I give it to him hands down. He's, he has really the connects to pull whoever he needs to pull. That's Tay's my is, dog, but dog. That's who you need. Tay's my dog, but Urban the Kentucky Awards. Turbin, my Tay's dog. Tay's my dog, but I I like I ain't like the last concert. I, I don't like I don't like how I got treated. Hey, nah, the cash dog. And that's my dog. Like I got kicked uh, off stage. Like Cash Doll been here. She's been here since COVID. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm just like high security but, and shit. But I'm like, bro. But Cash Doll's like another Jeezy incident. Mm-hmm. Like she's like, like another. She like, it's like royalty. She's been here. Like it's like a boosie. Like but a nah, I don't like how he was treating me. Like I'm like I'm I'm your man. Oh, talking about you. Yeah, I don't like how like he was treating me. Like I'm he your man. He treats you like shit, bro. He treats you like a pit bull. No, he treated me <laughs> like the pit bull that's the, the, with the birth defect. <laughs> the rank. No. Did so he wanted you to get you your regular free, pictures. Did you he wanted to get his pictures and shit. I don't know, bro, but he did me dirty and the he wanted security to get his kicked pictures, me off. But, but, I just love. It. I didn't even get to see cash though. So he can get uh, shouted out by the per- people on their page. Nah, you know yeah, he let the other photographer go with her. Always then he did a pod. He did, he did another podcast. Let that Keish, 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 well, cash dog do a podcast with another podcast. Like, come on, bro. I'm your man. Hold on, she did a podcast in Louisville. Another podcast? Yeah, some nigga that don't do the podcast that work for James. Tay in the mix, you did a podcast. That's, I'm coming for messy messages now. You did a podcast with a podcast. You yeah, and had a photo dude? shoot with two other photographers. Like, bro, I've been promoting for you. Like, but Kevin, I'm gonna say this: that Kevin, one of the photographers he did have. Kevin is amazing. Kevin's amazing. But shout out to Jada. That's my dog. She did her makeup. So Jada's Kevin's uh, photographer. So I'm not knocking them. It's the other photographer. Got you. But Kevin, Kevin's doing his thing. I heard. I have to give it to Kevin. Kevin J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yes. I'll give it to Kevin J. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, Kevin name. J. Pendar Ross. Because <laughs> <laughs> he'll dance you on a table and take a quick. Oh, yeah, he's going to throw you an eight count and take you a picture, bitch. What you mean, an eight count? He's, he's a major eight he's count. He's a major you know. dancer, too. Womp, womp. He's in the LGBT community as well. Uh, you know I'm saying? Like, I gotta get my daughter dancing in the. Uh, what's you that? know the dancing dolls. What's the? Uh, she mess with the. She won't be a shimmer diamond doll. Oh. Reggie's team. No, the other one. What's the Fabulous other? three. Be, F3. F3. Her, her Keyshawn. Because her mother, Keyshawn, who I grew up with. That's my baby. That's my, my baby. wife, everybody on Oh, she's a fab member. She's yeah, she's a fab. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Keyshawn started with fab. Yeah, that's my baby mama. Motherfucker. What's going on, y'all? But you stupid with that one. You stupid with that one. You, I swear to God, if I knew what I knew. Okay, so damn, now he's telling me. So I really feel stupid. Because I, I had to think about it. He went from Keyshawn to no. There's no offense to Ling no. Ling. No, nobody else. He went from a Keyshawn to Ling Ling. Mm. You don't know Keyshawn. He was. I know Keyshawn. Mm. I know the mama, the sister. Mm. We no, are, you no. don't know the Keyshawn. With the I knew. Keyshawn. I don't give a fuck. I you don't know the one with the oh my God, Keyshawn. Listen. I no, know it's Keyshawn guy. No, that is. A I'm bro. a childhood Keyshawn friend. No, y'all don't day, know. Man. I'm telling y'all. Do y'all feel like do y'all feel like Keyshawn. people's phone three, is really who they are? I got receipts and it will blow your fucking mind. It wouldn't though because I know the mother and the sister. Do y'all feel like? <laughs> well, why you ain't tell me, motherfucker? I didn't know you did. <laughs> okay, so question: so Do y'all feel up, like? I knew Keyshawn before the baby. You know what I'm saying we grew yeah. up together. We were teenagers. Yeah, yeah. Because Fab started in 2019. I wish I would have died. In 2004. Let's take it back. Fab started in 2004. So yeah. that's when we started. So I'm, I'm around uh, 2004, early 2000s, being on the community dance team type yeah. shit with Keyshawn. So it's like I knew this girl before she even knew her pussy was. <laughs> well, she and, definitely like, know who her pussy is, boy. I she the power, but our, people in our age, we all know we hit around that time because we know we was dealing with around that age. I wish I would dodge the bullet on that one. I love my daughter, <laughs> but I wish I dodge. Crazy, but she really a good one, though. Nah, it's a bad one. <laughs> um. <laughs> Y'all yeah, no, got any more jack? <laughs> Shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm trying, I, I'm I'm trying, trying to fuck with y'all trying to talk about fucking with the mental basis today. Yes, but we do got to do, and if we go, are, we, are we about to end it real soon? We do yeah, love yeah, we to. Might, we might wrap it up. Okay, we know. Okay, so we would like to do a reality check. A you know, a mental check. We love doing a mental check because we need we're, we're part of it, like mental awareness. Right. And a lot of our followers say that they love um, that we do a mental check right. Right. when we do we go live. Right. So um, with me, I'll do my I'll start my mental check off first. So, so a mental check is basically if you want to be vulnerable, you want to and be, be real or, or be real, whatever your case may be. Just cool. speak about where you at mentally, mm-hmm. because as black men, um, we don't get to talk about being where we at mentally. That's what's mm-hmm. up. We are yeah. num- norm- we don't, you know what they say? Black men are afraid to go to the doctors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying black men are afraid to do this. The black men are afraid to lay down that wall. So we love to break. <laughs> they said your mom was a Southwick shaker. You already know <laughs> it, but it's crazy because Southwick shakers. Was that was name. my dance team. I was the coach, the choreographer. I put up, I put together the whole competition. Me and his girl and Jatoya. Like me and Jatoya, we really it, it let me know as a child. Like, Come on, really Southside Shakers. We we be fab. We be okay, fab. friend. We back at the reality checks. I'm but starting with my reality checks. Fab, 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 fab. fab. But I'm fab. fab all day. F three all day. F three all day. Um, yeah, so F3. where I'm at mentally is is, bitch. I'm tired. <laughs> Like, y'all need to bring me y'all money, okay? Oh, you talking about that? Yes, I need me some money, y'all. So, when y'all get these tax refunds and shit, I need y'all to book with me, please. That's like, what you do? I, I need y'all to come and book with me for any services. My main services I need y'all to book for is y'all, y'all set some teeth. Mm-hmm. I know y'all want to smile and look rich this year. Mm-hmm. This is the new year, the new smiles, the new me's. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I can't wait to get redo mine. Oh my god, friend, quit fucking. I'm getting like first go around, be, like best you know, friend do be wrong. Like I was the first model. I did him wrong. Oh my like god. he still ain't. I'm supposed to be the brand ambassador. Still ain't got a no fresh oh, teeth him. yet. But I'm still like <laughs> bitch, I get, I'm giving my bird smile. Bitch, you let me can, today, can I finish my? Can I finish my. <laughs> I got some chip ones and some uh, brown ones. Did anybody <laughs> 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 yeah, tell you smoke them motherfuckers down, bitch? What you got? But what you got? New product. Where to? The weed. And everything don't fuck mm-hmm. up the white mm-hmm. and anything, so you got some so, real shit. Like I was saying before, this rude ass bitch. That's one thing you love doing. Because <laughs> nah, I want my teeth to read it. Because you keep bitch. here promoting you teeth real. and ain't got no teeth yet. Okay, y'all. <laughs> so I am promoting. I'm right now. I'm promoting. I have a special going. 
all the way up to April, I am doing um, resin composite veneers for fifteen hundred. Okay, and this is his mental check. That is he wants y'all very, to your motherfucking money. Yes, this is my mental check because bitch, I gotta pay LG, I gotta pay rent and shit, and I and I am self employed. And I need your money. No, I'm just playing. I, no, I'm not. I'm just playing, but I'm dead ass serious. But yes, I do have y'all paid my deposit, and you have a two month time. So you have two months to pay your shit off for fifteen hundred. That's really you can pay it off with, bitch. You pay your deposit, and then when you get paid in two weeks, bitch, go ahead and pay the full balance. But I don't know. I don't know y'all pockets like that. But my thing of it is, my reality check is basically. I need people to support support my motherfucking business, bitch, because it's time for me to. It's it's up. You know what I'm saying? Where you at? Where you at, my fit? What's your? What is your? My mental uh, right now is like I'm trying to figure myself out again because like I don't do a whole lot of shit that I used to do. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not in the club. I'm mm-hmm. working now, so I'm thinking like, how do I? Do I want to settle down? Do I not want to settle down? So I'm just like in a minute life crisis right now. Settle down as far as like relationship wise. Yeah, okay. like because I can do it. Like I can like. I ain't no point of cheating these days because you can really do what you want to do with somebody else. But if you're on that level, but it's just like, I don't know if I'm ready for that. I don't know if I want my kids to be here. I'm like, I don't know what I'm like. I'm trying to do right now. So I got to March to figure it out. That's why I'm at. At least you have a, a month or a day that you're what shooting. You hear yeah. the month he said, right? You hear the month he said, right? Mm-hmm. March. This isn't to your best friend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this isn't to your best nah, friend. Nah, I get my big ass bonus in March, too. So, yeah. <laughs> a lot of happens in March. You know, yeah, a lot of happens. Offerings go up in church in March. Uh, McDonald's, uh, McChicken, fucking price value shit go up in March. When a lot of shit go on in March. Six foot six Most bitch. babies are born in March and shit. Uh, shit goes on I'm in March. I'm just waiting on the March to see how like, I'm going right, to go with this shit. I don't know if I'm just. I don't know. I don't know because mm. I done did this nightlife so fucking long and it's like it's draining. Mm. Then I be seeing the niggas that gotta do this for a living. So you're I looking s- for other outsources? Other yeah, resources? cause like the nightlife it brings too much drama. And are you speaking on photography? Cause I don't know. Photography. How, you, you speaking, okay. I didn't know where you were speaking. And another thing. Like, and, uh, and another thing. I, I I cut back on photography. You know, I don't be taking like only if you ask me, I wow. do it. Like. It, so what are you looking to take serious? I don't know because I miss it. Okay. Because but but now I feel like photography is so fucking watered down. Mm-mm. With the, I think I'm about to revamp my. I'm about to dust my cameras off my lenses, are, bitch. Because it's like these I, bitches want photo shoots. They want to look like rich. The, they want to look royal. But the way I do it, my style is kind of different between the the average. Because I feel like I'm like I'm more natural, like more mm. like in the moment and the feeling. So it's like it's different between like. A studio. I don't like shooting in a studio because but I. But people want videos getting out of their Maybacks that they just rented from. Uh, yeah, I got to get into videos uh, too. I ain't got. They into... ordered on Lyft and shit, shit trying to have they yeah. had the bitch come and open up the door. Bitch, I just got off work. We yeah. can all look good in Miami. Yeah, that, man, the black yeah. trucks only twenty truck fifty dollars. Yeah. I can make Miami shit. Miami black truck. Shit. No, you need to get a car. But y'all know I can make anything look. I can make anything look good. But yeah, your editing skills is like immaculate. Yeah, I can make anything. I actually just posted one of your videos. My ex was in the back. I had to zoom in, but yeah. <laughs> Y'all niggas I used to fight that. all the fucking time. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Damn, the, the black. He fought more than me. That's what yeah. he said. He's talking about me. Yeah, me all crazy. Fought, yeah. Like, I ain't fighting. I sent that bitch to the ER. Send that bitch to the Macho Rare. Y'all crazy. What you got up, Face? You got but yeah, Face, what is your reality your check? So we can end it. My reality check? No, uh, Javon's is next after you. Oh, Javon. What's your, what's the reality check, best friend? Your mental check. Your mental check. check. You know, uh, like a real, like real life, real shit. Um. Uh, for real, mm-hmm. just trying to run this business, uh, Hype Life Entertainment. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I had a podcast to do before. I had like a little series that I was doing before y'all got here. So just trying to run that, work a full-time job, DJ on the side, and also got a cleaning service that I'm doing too as well. Shout out to the cleaning service. So uh, yeah, uh, uh, it's Shonda's cleaning service, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, part owner of that. So, so you bars and clubs and nightclubs need some cleaning service. Hit them up. Yeah, straight, now, up, hey, straight up. Fuck that bitch. We need industrial buildings, bitch. Because yeah, them okay. clubs, yeah, and like, I that's got what I was sick. looking into today. So just <laughs> we try. need industrial buildings, bitch. You need to be clean just, air vent. Just trying to altruist, <laughs> bitch. You hiring, bitch. Then you know I got I got you know I got uh, four four boys upstairs and shit. So mm-hmm. you know just yeah, trying to just trying to be example mm-hmm. and and and. and 
do what I'm supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? I got a good job and shit, but it, you know. But you, I feel like you, but a lot of people didn't learn that we are actually setting a good example because he said what was, poor boy. What was ahead of us, what we had ahead <laughs> of us was really, I think, I really think this generation There's really no changed life. at our kids because we learned to keep it real with our kids. Yeah. And you know what? Sometimes it may feel like our kids is too grown. Yeah. But I been feeling like sometimes, it bitch, you can't be too too cool with your kids. Our kids are woke. It's, it's kind of hard. It's, so it's, it's, it's easy raising like, boys, but it's hard raising girls. I, was, I, was, girl. it's it's not not I can never boys. put on what's easy. These girls. What's easy to learn to grow? Boys are followers. To raise up a yeah. kid because kids yeah. to me. Yeah. These days. To me, kids are really vulnerable. They really, they're real sponge. Yeah. You know how sponge soak up, sucks up water and mm-hmm. they just consume whatever they consume. Yeah. And their kids, to mm-hmm. me, like, they really don't know. They only know what they're taught or what they've seen. Music. And they so, see a lot. A lot. Mm-hmm. And they see a lot. And um, our kids, they're so woke now. Mm-hmm. Like, I've just seen a kid who was, like, three or four years old rapping a whole Boosie song. <laughs> and I'm just like, this child did ain't you, rapping. It's ABC. Did you see the sexy red, the little girls? Yeah. Man, the hands, hands on, on your knees. knees. <laughs> hands on your knees. It's I like, said, it's giving these kids I said, I'm going to be her for Halloween. <laughs> 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 like these kids is like so kadoom to like yeah it's bad tablets boys are easy, phone, then, or boys then, are easy to raise because they want to stick their dick and everything yeah, no but then easy. they ain't in school like that with the covid and shit they ain't been in school for like two three yeah, years i remember we had a blizzard i said how to go to school mm-hmm. nigga my mama woke me up one year he listen so if you didn't go to school my mama's house you had to like wash the baseboards mm-hmm. nigga had to sweep the carpet yeah, and yeah, shit yeah, no, 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 i didn't go to school my hold on hold on See, my mama work out. Drop a bomb on that baseboard. <laughs> yeah. So What's right. the baseboard? On the nigga, nigga, you're it's tripping, it's nigga. Nigga. Right so if you trim. Mop, watch that. My dad yes. Yes. My dad yes. said, if you have a mop in the floor, that mop needs to run across that baseboard. Yes, yes. the baseboard. Yes, you're tripping. Yes. And my mama used to be. Some if I got in shit. trouble, if, if I go to school, nigga, I'm in the I'm in the mind room the with a book yes. with no TV, yes. bro. Nigga, that would I was talking to my friends outside the window at my house, nigga. I couldn't come outside. Damn. Like. These yeah. kids will never know what not motherfucking real. sentences was Come when you got home. Come home. I will not talk in class because the uh-huh. teacher didn't call. I will not talk in class because the teacher called. Yep. I will not talk in class because the teacher called. And you thought you was doing something, you go, ah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, 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 <laughs> flip it over and do the next thing. You was a professional, man. Nah, that's oh how I used God. to do that uh-huh. shit. Uh-huh. Was, yeah, I did that I shit hate. too. <laughs> Dry, I got to drop a bomb on. Then you got to sit in the back of the classroom with the way your face turned to the wall. Yes, nigga. No, no, no. Not in the classroom, nigga. No, your mom. Mama, cause you called home. At home, you got your ass whooped. My mama made you pull your drawers down and put hey, your hands on the wall I, like this. I remember, Damn, I remember yes. I, I, nigga, my I, mama. Who? I, I remember I couldn't spell my last name right for shit, man. My, I had to go <laughs> home and write that motherfucker <laughs> over. But, but, right, but that be the worst doing homework with your mama yeah. back in the day. And they get mama, frustrated. Mama, smell it right, write it. You don't write it like that. You don't write it like that. Damn, you dumb as nigga. What? Man, my sister got in trouble so bad, nigga. But my my mama did a spelling bee. She said, "Y'all motherfucker, you want me?" Grown bitch, she said, "Come on here, come on." She said, "Has he calling?" And come on, come on, y'all here, come on. We better do, we better do a spelling bee. You know how I learn, man. She said, "Spell handy." She said, "H A H A E D Y." She said, "Okay, okay, okay." I swear to God, she beat the shit out of my sister. Oh. I said, "Mama, what's my word?" Cause bitch, let me get ready. She beat the shit out of my sister <laughs> because that's how I learned, man. My, my mama, mama was. Used to be like, but how I learned, man. My mama said, "Nigga, look, fuck it." At this point, she bought some some pencils. Mm-hmm. She was like, look, nigga, you got five pencils. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga, two pencils. <laughs> nigga, take away three. <laughs> what you got left? Three. Okay. So you, you need a motherfucker to show you uh-huh. the shit instead of motherfucker just telling yeah, you. Yeah. I used to like, hate had to do and work with my mama, dog. That's nigga, crazy. It's crazy. I That's think real. about that. I had, That's my, aunt, I had my auntie. My mama passed when I was like, Four, four. So mm-hmm. I had my auntie, man. She was a beast. Yeah. I couldn't stand with think her. Think about her. Yeah. Auntie's gonna be hard on you no matter what, cause she got a well, point to prove. Mamas. Yeah. And my mama had me at fourteen. You know what I'm saying, I'm going to yeah. school with my mom. I'm going to talk about with my mom. I'm going to work. Like I'm doing a lot of shit with my mama mm-hmm. as a baby. Damn. See, so my mama ain't really young. So my mama had me young. She was so I'm, got, I'm getting this. <laughs> She's stupid. Yeah, she got them all. <laughs> <laughs> But my mama, uh, she had me young, and I really appreciate it. I think it's why I see life different, different than it's business wise, and then the people yeah. in general. Mm. Because I've been around. If you say, I probably can say I've been around it. Down mm. from my father too, dealing with the old school Park Hill bitches and shit. Like yeah. on the whole, and because I've been introduced to entertainment life young. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My daddy was a limo service driver. He owned two clubs. He was doing laundry mats. He was doing a lot. So when you say I'm type of business, you know, we're coming with type of business. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, and I've been around, I've been around when daddy was like, I just got done fucking this bitch. You fuck this bitch right behind me. Oh shit, I don't share hoes. I don't like sharing my hoes. <laughs> so it's like, I've been around. Hey, back in our generation, you was like, my mama and them, they was like, you oh, you're getting pussy. your dick sucked. You're getting your bitch dick sucked. Yeah, you're going to get seat. some pussy. Oh, my sweet 16? Y'all mama put, put coochie on y'all? Yes, at my sweet 16? Yes. What? <laughs> Damn. You me fucked up. Yeah. And how y'all think that we end up like having a lifestyle? That's how we know that it's because we was taught. I, I was taught what was taught, and I was forced to what I was forced. Y'all really think a motherfucker really wouldn't wake up and be like, you know what I'm saying? I like what I like. You know what I'm saying? But I've been taught my whole different. life. I ain't no way. You know what I'm saying? Was different though. I was different as a child. I got raped by the male and the female. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I got raped by the both. So that I got to understand me as a child. Right? Yeah. Shit. Mm-hmm. I just want to go outside. But yeah. I knew I had to do this just to go outside. But I was like, fuck it. Damn, you want to touch what? Wee wee. Because I'm young to at go this outside? point. Like, if you want me to you, give you two fingers in a pussy, that's how I knew. <laughs> that's how I knew my last year in elementary school when I found a little girl on the bus. Elementary? Yes. Damn. You know I'm saying? Like, I <laughs> had a little girl orgasm. I was like, what the fuck? That bitch went to squirt this shit. We, we both it's elementary. Like, nah, I ain't no elementary. He's lying, bitch. Last year, this is my fifth grade it year. It's, no, I'm not. It's my fifth grade year. My fifth grade year. Uh, Google up. Bring it up. Like, we're going, going to middle school. I was school. getting under on her yeah, in we're going third to middle grade. School. Like, I'm waking up on hard ons already. Like, I'm already jacking off. Like, in a like, I'm already, like, busting my nuts. I'm you like, was jacking off, too, bitch. Why you ever smelling the grid, bitch? No, I didn't, bro. Because yeah, I, I knew, like, it was seventh, sixth grade. Because I knew the cousin is, mm-hmm. I had a bus to go outside. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a girl, this is a full-blown woman with big titties with a fat-ass pussy. And she ain't getting yeah. get no pussy from her nigga because they've been arguing because he's been cheating. So she hitting the little boy on love. A grown woman? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, and I knew I had to be in a room. With, I had to play PS4 when lights cut off. I knew it was going down with the niggas. You know what I'm saying? So it was like yeah. a lot going on as a child. But that's why I be like, I'm me. Like, yeah. At the end of the day, I knew what I liked at a young age. Yeah. And I knew how to play me at a young age. Mm-hmm. I knew what I need to get out of the situation at a young age. Mm-hmm. But it's also becomes with when you have a child raising a child. Nah, yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you're you have the most broad ability of being ah, so you kind of grow up fast, introduced to growing up fast because like, she's growing up at the same, she's growing time. Up same time. Like, it should be no way I'm in middle school or high school doing my sister's hair because for school, when well, my mother should be doing this, you know what I'm saying? Damn. It's a lot like girl, I knew you was gay. You got yeah. sister, who your sister? <laughs> I have. You got four sisters that be out? Four no, sisters. they only come out when it's time I don't to fight. Like, no, my home foundation, <laughs> I'm just a real nigga. My home foundation and my foundation and my bloodline, no one knows. It's no one's business. They in Louisville? Mm-hmm. Yeah, in Louisville. Mm-hmm. Wow. I don't call my sisters. I don't tag them in there because I don't got time because Louisville's petty. Yeah. Louisville's real petty. If you need, if you know my family, you know my family. I'm the only boy out of four sisters and I'm the oldest. Damn, so, for real? Yeah, from so they still be in the club? Don't even be in a club. Mm-hmm. They don't go out. Really not, they allowed in the club, but I want them to be. They homebodies, family bodies. But I want to be in a club if I was in a club. But I don't introduce them into their life. That's they so have sad. a good time when they come out with me. Uh, if you, if they outside by themselves, no one really know them. Okay. But that's what we have in our foundation. Like it's my bloodline, and no one would know. Cause Lou was petty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lou yeah. was petty. You know what I'm saying yeah, like I, I have lie. four blood sisters from my mother's coochie. You know, see, I don't got, I got a brother and I got a sister and that's in Tennessee. My brother don't go out. He look just like me, but it's just me. I don't got no family here for real. So my sisters, like, they come just like me. Have I seen them before? I'm already nope. seen them before. Mm-hmm. They you're way younger than me. And my other sister after me, she's like she's younger than me, but she's married. Got her own trucking company business. She got her medical coding license as a master's in high school. Like, hey, got an amazing husband in Florida. Like, she's doing an amazing job. What's up? My other sisters, we all like our brother. Like, we taught us how to run a business. Taught us how to make it and survive with our own income. Yeah, yeah. What's That's dope. All right, man. So shit, man. What uh, all I gotta say where they can find y'all at, man. Make sure that you make sure y'all tune in tomorrow night, nine p.m. Yeah, Tuesday. Please make sure y'all tune in. Please, 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 please. please, please, please. Podcast on um YouTube. Everybody, we will be. We are on YouTube. We want everybody mm. to go to YouTube. We will go on YouTube Facebook. YouTube is kind of difficult sometimes. Yeah, so it is. It is. But you know how we are. We. If if make if McDonald's said make chickens fifty cent, they will be there. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we telling you niggas, go to YouTube. Yeah, I got a nice stuff. You know what I'm saying? We go go to YouTube, get it to five hundred likes. I mean five hundred subscribers, mm-hmm. five hundred so we can make this bigger than what it is. And y'all know like we was very home. filtered tonight. 
Yeah, y'all was filtered tonight. We was yeah, very filtered. So we catch y'all big messy bitches tomorrow to pot need us. <laughs> if it was on a we weekend, we'd be wilding right now. But you know what I'm saying? It's a Monday. We're going to take it easy on you. We're going to be cutting up tomorrow. But we might have to bring y'all on. Cool. Mm. Put y'all in the hot seat. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They, right. Because soon we post somebody. Because oh, everybody want to laugh and point at sure everybody else. We have AJ man. with us. We got to have my baby girl right when well, I'm a baby girl with us. You got to have AJ. Well, we are can, you edit, can you edit AJ right here real quick? AJ, baby girl, we are here. You better play two shows. Let's just you, lock jaw. What's her name? Lock, lock jaw down. Her head fire. Oh, script. Vice script. Oh, vice script. <laughs> oh, I thought y'all said her head was fire. I don't think her head fire. Man. How, how oh my question. god, you sit next Did to her. Did you fuck AJ? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to this commercial break right now. <laughs> <laughs> I've been you and AJ being a thing. Yeah, y'all was a thing. Can we remember that house party? Let's go to the commercial break right now. Nah, hey, it's hey, really we, uh, messy. Really? <laughs> y'all, thank y'all for tuning in, y'all. Of <laughs> course, it's your it's the Messy Bessie podcast on this side. I'm Hezzy. I'm Vibe. And... This is motherfucking trap talk podcast. New bird nigga in this bitch. Nah, nah, I really we'll do appreciate. Like we'll nah, nah, I'm gonna say this. Yes, I really do appreciate you coming. Javon's always supporting, commenting on our on our show. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's a big support. He's been booking me mm -hmm. ever since. You know what I'm saying? We light skin Keisha. Shooting oh, my. it, y'all shooting the gym, bitch. Get to it. Yeah, like, like light, skin, light, light skin, light light skin, light skin Keisha was all up on me. She was giving me like she wanted me. She might be back 2024. Oh mm -hmm. shit. But this time it's a little different. It's a little different. But yeah, yeah, little you different. will be there. Okay, thank it's you. It's more intimate this time. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. I just want to say, if you shit. didn't get your golden ticket, <laughs> you ain't coming. <laughs> the golden ticket, because but. Because I ain't giving no more admission at the door. I, I feel mean, you, but hey. You know because light skin Keisha was throwing it. Light skin Keisha was throwing that motherfucker at me. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, she had a fat motherfucker. A big fat And she a Virgo, and that's her little baby. She is a Virgo. And that bitch said, Joe Fire, fuck these Luva niggas, bitch. <laughs> I can see her saying that. And she popped up at Legends like she weren't ready to start the party. She came on a free. But you know what? Every time, you know what, friend? Every time she you said, Vine, your birthday party, I'm coming to you the fucking yes, after party after up. party. Every I fuck with you, Vine. Right? Every, every celebrity I learned that you brought, I've learned that they say they did not feel like they were on a uh, they were on a mission. They didn't, feel like, they didn't feel like they didn't feel like that they were like on a at, book. They felt like it was on a book. They felt like they was, was at, at home. home. They felt comfortable. Damn. They didn't feel like they didn't have to have heavy what security. I used to do, I used to have every him, celebrity, I used to have every best celebrity. friend. Um, I used to go sign the NDA to drop the money so off and one, talk and do all that. Give him the hospitality, the yeah. give him the more the gay, the fish or whatever. But yeah. that's what they be looking Fuck for. You, bitch. But best, you know you come more than me. You know you be coming more than me. Yeah. You gonna give them the beat. I got, I'm, I'm very theatrical. I'm very animatic. Yeah. I got very. Yeah. Davis was all my friends. Shout out to Davis. My best friend and my sister was a two like. Like they work with celebrities with the NDAs. Mm -hmm. They be with them while I'm planning the other show on the other right. side. Okay. But they still right. see me in an instance of them a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah, okay. Well, but make sure I'm in that motherfucker. You know you in there. You What's up, there. Face? What we got going, Face? All right, man. So we like to thank the messy besties. For coming out, fucking with Trap I Talk mean, Podcast, man. Let's Clap talk about it. This show, this show. Yeah, let's talk. Right, we uh -huh. gotta get y'all back in June and see what's going on with y'all. We, we gonna get y'all back. Yeah, show. straight up. Okay, cool. We yeah, wanna thank y'all cool. everybody for tuning in tonight, man. With Trap Talk Podcast, man. Don't forget, every Sunday we are. Right here at the same spot on well, we Facebook. Well, this Sunday. No, like the AJ. I, well, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, our comments yeah. said, did they pay us? They said, if you said, did they pay y'all to be here tonight? $1,000. No. But we don't, they don't have to pay. We don't have to pay. It's, it's a royalty. It's, it's royalty. Like we not understand what we're doing for mm -hmm. Yeah, we're trying to get this shit off the ground. You but I love you for, for definitely dropping it, friend. Mm -hmm. Who's that? One of, One of my viewers. Okay. All right, well, shout out to everybody who was viewing on over. That should have been over here on the goddamn page with us. They right? being on both, been but, but, but that's cool. That's been on both. But they be over. scared. Be they be right. really scared. Y'all need to have. Y'all got to learn how to transition, y'all. Like literally, we got to learn how to transition and get into this new age. YouTubing and yeah. learn how to use y'all fucking YouTube. Shit, yeah. God yeah. damn it, y'all all be playing videos when y'all. No, they get they chows to YouTube. Every the iPad. no, every no, 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 no. Every project chick I fuck with play them YouTube videos and it's going down. No, nah, because I ain't gonna say, because man, my friend said, bro, I walked in the house, nigga, and my bitch, her friend, heard and her you. friend, uh, he said, I heard your voice on her motherfucking phone, and said, what the fuck is yeah, going on? Yeah, they work. They said, man, they had y'all motherfuckers on three phones I in one that. motherfucking room. Y'all be that's killing the all, game. That's we had all that drama shit going That must was the other night, because I had y'all on like five phones. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, the um, BH Pop Productions will be dropping Run in LA cool, very cool. pretty soon. Run yes, LA. Auditions in will be online, y'all, so please stay in tune on our pages. And please come. If your lace is done, bitch, if you had lace on for three weeks, you ain't working. <laughs> if you have, uh, if you missing a toenail, you ain't working. 
If you missing your sad tooth, bitch. If we heard bitch. the nigga we cool with say your pussy stink, bitch, you ain't worth it. No, you might slide on to the girls can dog you, bitch. Yeah, we might. We might. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, nah, we ain't going to be messy like that. But no, if you ain't got your sad tooth, sis, we can book an appointment with me. God damn. We can, go online, <laughs> and we can put you in a temporary <laughs> sad tooth. You put sad in? You get a temporary <laughs> sad tooth. You lying. I can give you a temp. I now, if you eat in a food. Oh, <laughs> for real? <laughs> yes, I can give you a temporary <laughs> sad tooth. I got all my sad tooth right now, but I'm just saying. I yeah, I can give you, I can give you a temper I can give you a temporary sad tooth. Okay, cool. Yes. My ex yeah. need one. Yeah, a lot of people in Louisville need know. one. <laughs> I'm out of here, man. She be oh my gosh. <laughs> we out of here, man. We, whole grill. Not, we keep going all night, man. Jamie, how many pages do you got, sis? We, she didn't came on her on the Fabulous Little, little Baddies page. Then she came on her as Jamie Savage. Sis, we love you. Hey. What is that coochie? Like, why is she so popular? Hold on, man. It's so, old we'll coochie. Talk about that later on. Look, like, we out, man. <laughs> we out of here, y'all. Yeah, 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 we appreciate she, y'all. Why is she so relevant? That's <laughs> y'all. I don't know why she's very relevant. Right. Old coochie, like. Took a little break, now I'm back right. in it. Lost weight, but my blunts got bigger, so my 38 got a bigger pistol. They be chasing bitches, I be chasing digits. That's what I mean when I say we are different. So I keep my distance. Niggas, they be flipping bitches, they be tripping out of them lame. F O E, yeah, that's the game. Family, I nothing put that on my grave. Hoodie on like I'm mellow from the trade. Record labels turning niggas to slaves. Selling they so for a whoop and a chain. Goddamn, when would it change? Could pray me.